Good job, my guy. So does so the fat lady. Which, so the one that's good evening, at the end everyone, of the game. and thank you for joining us at the Municipal Budget Committee. Tonight is Wednesday, January 13th, 2016. If everyone will rise, the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. For those who have been trying to watch the meetings lately, last week and this week, um, it's been a bit of a chore since we've had equipment problems, but I understand tonight everybody at home can hear us again, and we are live. Uh, if you missed the meetings of last week, which would be last Tuesday, last Thursday, last Friday, and um, I believe the selectmen's meeting Monday night, I believe they're all being re-aired. Um, well, will be re-aired now that we're up and running again. So thank you for your endurance. A lot of important information in the last two weeks, particularly about budget. Um, as we get ready for public hearing tomorrow night, 7 o'clock at the Academy Cafeteria. Tonight I want to, before we finish up from where we left off on the budget, I'd like to finish up on Warren articles. As you know or may not know, everyone had until 5 o'clock yesterday to submit Warren articles. So there are some that you have never seen and um, certainly the CBAs. So I think I would like to start with those Warren articles that came in other than the CBAs, because Jamie, you're going to take us through those? The CBAs? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, do we have on the other Warren articles that came in last night? We'll take those up first. There, there's one that came in last night? Yeah. yeah. If there's no many ones, we don't huh? worry about it. Oh, yeah. Um, and as usual, before we start, if we could do a roll call around the table. Um, and tonight, during the vote, could have a little patience. Um, it's very tough for Terry to take the notes and take the votes at home uh, because she doesn't get everybody on camera at the same time. So we'll do it laboriously. And... Um, make sure that she can have has that as a record. Well, we have a seat for Mr. Bean here. Yes, Mr. Bean, where are you? Right here, young lady. <laughs> Could you join us at the table I'm, because I'm, she I'm, does I'm, not I'm get anything right from the back? At the head table, Phil. Stand on my ground. Thank Do you. Do I get tables? No. No. <laughs> uh, no. Thank you. We reserve the prime seat for you over here. Thank you, Citizen Jones. Do we know you? <laughs> So you're saying that you will not join us at here at the table for the convenience of us. I think I made myself clear, Madam Chair. Thank you. <laughs> Don't need for Nick. All Nick right. Brado. Scott Blair. Mike Pierce. Sonny Kravitz. Jim O'Loughlin. Brian Lapham. Eileen Latimer. Jones. Mike Clough. Gary Zanark. Bob Ladd. Thank you. It's definitely easy. Now, for the sake of organization here, um, I was just handed these warrants. What has changed? Has the numbering on all of the war articles changed from the ones we passed? Did they change Anybody? I can't tell you which has changed because we don't have a record of which you, we don't have a record of what you voted on. We don't have a record of what we voted no. on. So I'm talking about the Warren articles. I got a memo today saying that the numbers on the Warren articles themselves had changed. So the Warren articles were removed. The board removed them. They were Warren articles. And therefore, they've contracted up. Which ones were they? Fred, 
at some point, and yeah. this is by tomorrow, this committee needs a full set of Warren articles with any numbers that may have been changed so we can coordinate those with what I have. You have the current warrant. I have Warren articles that start with Article 12. Is that yeah. correct? Uh, you, were, you were faxed uh, or emailed today a warrant that starts with Article 1 and goes through Article number <coughs> 47. Yeah. So that is different Two articles were submitted last night, 46 and 47. Neither of them are money articles, but they were submitted last night. So 46 and 47, we do not have to do anything with. I think you did, you just got the money articles. I'm sorry? I say you just have the money articles. Right. That's all. Well, it looks like I mean, you yeah, said, we you take the email around 4 o'clock with it. Yeah, that's I, right. We got the whole set. Yeah, yeah, the whole set. Yeah, so was sent out, us, out to us, uh, uh, 356 is what yeah. I have. So, Jamie, what are you giving us here right now? Those are copies of the collective bargaining and the warrant articles that go with those. What I was invited to present to you today. All right, so that's that packet. Madam Chair? And there has been no change in the actual numbering of the warrant articles. There has been some change there in the numbering based on that fluctuation of what's removed. They move and shift so that they numerically follow logic. Well, that's what I'm, but that's right. what I'm asking. And there's no tracking on this, so we have to figure out ourselves what the old Warren articles were that we voted on and well, figure out where they are topic, here. If you go by topic, it's probably better to go by topic than you go by We start number. with Article 9, Article 9, sewer bond. Is Article 9 sewer bond the same? Yes. No, wait a minute. Uh, speak. Bond is Article 10, I believe. Article <coughs> Town budget is 10 with us. Well, yeah. so the new art, the sewer bond, we sit with a nine, and you're saying it is. This draft. Yeah. Is, this is Here's a hard copy. Nick, do you have the one that you did? Planning board submitted an extra the article. The question is the articles have moved. Article 9 was the sewer bond. That's now Article 10. Okay. And then town budget was 10. Town budget was 10. Now it's 11. Madam Chair, may I suggest that we have the full list. Why don't we just start with the lowest number and work our way up? So we won't miss any. That's what I'm doing right now. That changed too. Right. So the town budget is now 11. Yeah. The reason those articles moved up one number is because the planning board filed an additional article for the zoning ordinance, and they are required by law to be before the articles. Right. But for so. the sake of our secretary, Fred, yeah. we need to go over these because she took her minutes according to the meetings that we had before yeah. this was changed. So the votes coincide to different article numbers. And yeah, we may have to have it go back and rectify that. And then republish it. If she identified the article, we can figure that out without problem. So the next one is the collective bargaining. That was 11, 12, 13, and 14. And what are we saying? Those are now 12. 13. 11 is the budget. 11 is the budget. The first money 12, article. 13, 14, 15, and 16 <coughs> are the collective bargaining agreements. 12. The first money more article is Article 10, which is the wastewater treatment, which we've already voted on. Okay. Yeah, we're all the way down to 16 right now. I believe in the changes. It's now a wastewater treatment. Now it's 11. No, he said it's the town. He says it's the town. It's the town. No, he said, Fred said the town budget is Article 11. Jerry, right here, Article 10. Town budget is script. I, I, article. I, I'm going to sit here and be quiet. All right. The old Article 16 is now 17. Oh, that. The old Article 17 is now 18. Well, what, what, what is the subject matter so we can follow that, Madam Chairman? All right. Well, if, if you had the old ones and the new ones, but we'll do it this way. <coughs> 10 is the sewer bond. 11 is the town budget. 12. Let me back up. Hang on. 
12 is collective bullets, bargaining yeah. fire. Five. Ten is the short bond, okay? And then what? This was. 11 is the town budget. <laughs> Mike, Mike yes. should get the index. I have it. Work on the index, Mike. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. 12 is collective bargaining fire. 13 is collective bargaining fire. 14 is collective bargaining police. 15 is collective bargaining police. 16 is collective bargaining teamster. 17 is the highway block grant. 18 is DPW vehicle purchases. Yep. All right, all of those were one less prior to this point in time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number 18, which was the road um, Improvement. capital improvement fund previously was 18, now it's 19. Right. I'll move up there. High street culvert. The high street culvert. It's 20. Um, 20. Previously 19. was 19, it's now 20. Seawall bicentennial, 20, and is now 21. Yeah. Sidewalks was 21, is now 22. Yeah. Fred, let me know if I'm wrong here. Household hazardous waste was well, 22, it is now 23. Yeah, they all moved up one. Yeah. Utility valuation is 24 then. Uh, uh, human service. Wait a minute. Yeah. Because we had a couple that were eliminated. Okay. Uh, utility evaluation was 23, now 24. Human services was 24, now 25. <laughs> no yes. failing. Correct. Yep. Recreation infrastructure was 25, is now 26. 26 is the comp that's gone. Right. The compensated leave, trun leave trust fund is, is, is that was withdrawn. Stri stricken, pulled. That's oh. why I want you to go over these one by uh, Article 26 is what now? Compensated leave trust fund. They moved two line items mm -hmm. in the what budget automatically. They transferred them to what is it now? It's the, the trust fund. Well, what is, what is Article 26 going to be on the ballot? Oh, yeah. maybe? Yeah. The, the next one. Yeah. Okay, I got it. That's what I got on this one. It was printed on okay, 113. Okay, so now 27 is 27. 27 the remains. The old 26 20. is eliminated. Yeah. Yes. All right. So now 27 is 27. Gotcha. Yeah. The 26 is, a, 26 is a rec mm -hmm. fund. Uh, 26 is the compensated leave trust fund that's been pulled and is now. No, no, no. Wait a minute, Jerry. No, no, no. 26, no. the new 26 mm -hmm. is the health. Yeah, the, the new 26 the is a rec fund. Right. Yeah. Okay. The old 26 I don't care about the has been eliminated. Okay. Okay. 27 stands now, okay, 27 were caught up again. Yeah. So 27, the old 27 and the new 27 is the same. What about 28? Mm -hmm. 28, um, no, no, that's the set. Now that's the new 28 is fire prevention full time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, that's that's as of 113. It was it used to be the conservation land acquisition. <laughs> number 28. Which one? What number was 28 before? I don't know. We didn't have it on there. We didn't have it. Was that a new one that came into us with no number? That's right. It was either it that came or we in, had 229s had, at one point. We had 229s. So there's this, a new 28. The 28 is now the fire prevention secretary. Right. So used to be one of the 29s. Correct. Yeah. Okay, I run out of printout. So what's uh, what's 30? All right. So you got 28. You have what 28 is, right? 28. 30 is the 20,000 for conservation. Wait a minute. What was? Go back to 29. 20, 29. 29. Is IT. That's IT. Yes, okay. What happened to the conservation okay. land? Wait, one at a time. Coming up, Jerry. One at a time, okay? 29 is IT. Mm -hmm. 29 is IT. Okay, from here down. Yeah. And 30 is the Conservation is, Land Fund. Can, wait, wait a minute. Okay. Let's try if somebody's going to quiz me on this, and I won't know. So the old 28 is gone out of that. 29 is IT? Yes. And that's a new one stuck in there? Mm-hmm. New. Okay. Thirty is the conservation fund. Correct. Right. <clears throat> Thirty-one. Wall, Laura. 
That's been rewritten. Um, okay. Thirty-two is the Heritage Fund. Yes, ma'am. That's new. Thirty-two is the Heritage Fund. Mm -hmm. okay. And what's the cable franchise? Where did the cable franchise fees distribution go to? They've gone to thirty-four. Thirty-four. The CATV. What was thirty-one, Fred? Town of War Memorial. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Three is just a name change. Right. Have I missed any money worn articles? 33. There's no impact. I didn't list the money because there's no Where's impact. 33? So 33 was the Cemetery, Cemetery Burial Cemetery Trust Fund. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did not you ever see, see that? Well, we never saw it. There's no money in that for us, right? Right. And am I missing anything up to Article 43? 43? Yeah. That's the parade? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's nothing. I don't think there's any other money worn articles up. up. How about clock, 40, clock uh, repair, 44? 44. 44. 43, well, she mentioned 43. 44. 40, 43 or 44 have appropriations. Right. No. There's nothing between and 34 it. and 43. Right. And 44. Town clock, though. Town clock. Okay. So. Town clock is back. All right, so sitting here, we have. Quite a few. <laughs> so let's just get a list of those that have been submitted so we don't leave anybody's out. I believe the collective bargaining agreement says one group for the end. Um, <clears throat> Well, we haven't reviewed the Heritage Fund, um, we haven't reviewed the Cemetery Trust if we have to, and we haven't reviewed the town clock. And we tabled, we tabled the uh, Rec Fund, and we tabled the uh, War Memorial, and we tabled the uh, one other. Conservation. Conservation. Conservation, yeah. An IT. An IT. That is a new one. Mm -hmm. A new one. Yeah. So, at the War Memorial. So we tabled. That's a good The rack. Do you, you want to go in numerical order still, Madam Chair? Fire yeah. Secretary. Tim, you want to fire down? Well, numerical order would cause us to go right to the CBAs. Well, I I'm, I'm going to leave those for last. Conservation. Be uh, Oracle. Hang us up. Let's get through it. Some of this stuff should, should get through. So that'd be Article 17, which is the uh, improvements to streets. $643,225. Are we all in the same spot here now? Article 17. <coughs> Is that the, uh, oh, so that was the that uh, 640, right? We already voted on that. Yeah, we voted on that one. Okay. So Article 18 would be 353, purchase of trucks. We already voted on that, yes? We voted on that. Okay. Article 19, $300,000. dollars we down for to 26. For improvement capitalization, we voted for that. 26 is the, yeah, we, that's... We, we, we tabled that Called based it, on we did on the right department. That's correct. <coughs> we didn't do that. We didn't do conservation. 26, 29. For 21, I don't recall doing 85,000 for a geotechnical investigation. Yeah. Oh, no, that was the, oh uh, is that the utilities thing? The wall. Seawall. Oh, seawall. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 We did There's an appropriate 45000 for the maintenance of the sidewalks. We did. Okay. Uh, did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. In order, I have 26, 20, 29, 31, 30. Oh, 30, 31. 32, 43, and 44. Have I missed anything? 
to do, to review? Yeah. 26 is... Uh, no, 26 26 is rec. 29 is uh, all right so i'll move uh, the rec for 115,350 dollars <throat> actually i'm not moving it i'm simply opening it up for reconsideration after tabling it right? right and this was the one that we asked just be reconsidered perhaps by the board of selectmen it was reconsidered manager. madam chair and they well, took let's no let action diane is here diane you want to come up is this remaining as as was written? I believe so. No change yes. in it. Yes. It was not amended. It was not amended. Okay. It was unanimously not amended after discussion of board selection. Okay. Um, we know the intent of this warrant article. Mm -hmm. it's, funds are already there. We're hoping to get you a little bit more under this warrant article, but since that didn't happen, um, I don't have any problem. We don't really need discussion on this. I'm ready one. to vote. All right, so Tim, you opened it. Who was the second from? I think it was Nobody Nick. has, I will second it. Nick, if you would second that. All right. All those in favor of approving warrant article 26, Recreation Department? Okay. So that would be Bob, Mike, Tim, Eileen, Brian, Jim, Sonny, Scott, and Nick. Mr. Bean. And Mr. Bean. Oh, and, well, I can't see Mr. Bean down no, there, so it would be nice if he'd move I a little bit. I'm going into the affirmative, Madam Chair. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Is that 10? And opposed. That would be Mike and Jerry. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm opposed, and I want to stipulate why. I think that a wrong interpretation and a wrong definition is being made with this called infrastructure. That warrant article was passed and it said it's for beach, it's for 20% of the beach precinct, uh, receipts go to the rec fund for infrastructure. If you look up infrastructure in the College Webster Dictionary, it is for the construction or reconstruction of infrastructure, people, buildings, systems, personnel, anything that makes that rec department go. Yeah, not toilet paper, <coughs> ink, or stamps, or obvious expense items. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. I believe Article 27, 90,000 from the police fund was already done. Excuse me. Yeah, you can't just. You can't just I thought you were done. That. We know. I was not finished. Oh, so sorry. Please continue. I, I'm finished now, but I mean, okay. I didn't like the way you cut in on me. I didn't know I was cutting well, in. Well, you sorry. were. I hadn't finished when I was speaking. I just feel that right. the town itself is my hand. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Take a pause. Let's not be here for three hours right. tonight. Over the, they have to take a look at look at the definition of infrastructure in the dictionary. Look at the warrant article. And <coughs> please use your judgment. That's why I voted against this article. Yeah, but you should have raised that before the vote. I did. He <laughs> brought it up at the last meeting. I did. Right. Okay, we did. So. All right, that passes, Diana. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Twenty-eight to forty to forty-five thousand fire prevention was done. Uh, Tim. Huh? Last I looked, I'm still here. I thought you wanted me to do this. Sorry. No, no, no we don't. Mm -hmm. Go to your room. I'd be happy let her, to. Let her run it, uh, to Tim, please. Going to 29. Did we already approve 28 and 20, 27 and 28? <laughs> please <laughs> forfeit you, we did. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. Please forfeit you, we did. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Moving on to 29. 29. I've got to go back and check 28, to be honest with you. Yeah, the 20, old number. Well, 28 is now 30. I've been putting that, remember? <coughs> yeah. Conservation Land Acquisition Fund. That's got to be spoken about. Okay. Well, I'm going in order, so the next one we're going to talk about is 29, and that would be the IT. IT. All right. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of twenty-nine thousand four hundred and eighty-seven for replacing, upgrading, and modifying of the existing computer system operated by the IT division under the finance department, and the and authorize the withdrawal of twenty-nine thousand four hundred eighty-seven from the management information systems capital reserve fund created for that purpose by Article Twenty-Seven of the 1997 town meeting. 
and to vote after the foregoing withdrawal of the sum of 29487 is made to discontinue the said management information systems capital reserve fund with the balance of said funds which accumulated interest to date of withdrawal to be transferred to the general fund. Majority vote required. <coughs> um, recommended by the Board of Selectmen. Five to nothing. So I'll they, make a they vote. want to move it to the general fund? Yeah. That's what it says. Does anybody want to talk on that, Fred? Just the only thing they're moving to the general fund, Madam Chairman, is the interest that's accumulated during this particular year. Okay. And you'll be discontinuing that fund with this warrant article? Yeah, just continuing the capital reserve fund if that's done, yes. Okay. But where's the principal going? The principal is going to fund the IT. Did I have a motion on that to open that up? I, I, I look to uh, Jerry. IT. It's part of MIS. MIS. Yes. The four lines we talked about. Mm -hmm. Can I have a motion from somebody to open this up? I'll have a, I'll, uh, Thank take you, a motion Brian. to. I'll second it for discussion. Madam, if you chair, if, if, or Madam Chairman, if you mind. Uh -huh. um, IT subcommittee met today, earlier, um, to discuss this warrant article. Um, the position of the IT subcommittee was unanimous not to re recommend after careful deliberation. The committee essentially believes the fund should continue to exist as it is without any withdrawals made this year. Uh, I'd like to give the floor up for discussion. So you're going to leave it alone in the fund? Correct. There's you guys, you, did so anybody second his uh, motion? Yes. Okay. So what we decided on at the last meeting was those four line items. We're going to stay defaulted to the 015, the 015 budget would stay the same for 016. Uh, if, I, if, if I may interrupt for one second, this is trying to do away with the MIS fund, not the budget. Nothing to do with the budget directly. We took out money in the budget because we said they could use this money, but that, that isn't really true. But oh, I, need, I need clarification then. Is that this, is, this, this motion What's was... What's your question, Jerry? My question is, there were four line items we discussed at length in the MIS budget. Mm -hmm. Right. And we said they will stay at the 015 budget line, not their requested 016 line. That's, That's correct. correct. End of story. Yep, that's true. There was some ancillary discussion about taking some money out of the IM, out of the technology fund, mm -hmm. and using it in that those four line items. But I'm I'm the one who instigated that discussion. I think erroneously, because these sub uh, subgroup here, mm -hmm. you know, came in after my initiation right. on, on Thursday, a day later, or whatever, and made me aware of how they felt. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, there was some confusion because there was confusion, it, yes. absolute confusion. I, th I think we've got it all figured out. I think you do. I'm happy with the budget the way it stands. Well, clarify it for the rest of us because we left here the other night with four lines in, in question, and we knocked back mm. two of them to previous funding. That's but correct. what was at question was funding for the 365. Right. So. Some were suggesting that this fund be knocked down and that the funding from that could then be rolled into the 365, which I think some at this table is still under the impression that that's what was going on. But now we have a different recommendation from IT. Mm -hmm. So if you could elaborate, those of you in IT, where are the changes, because by knocking it back mm -hmm. to previous funding, that leaves nothing new for 360 or the extra computers that was talked about. So I'm going to leave this with Tim and Nick right now. I want so to hear what they have one to of you or both of you or take turns, but have this be transparent to us Mine will by be the very time brief. we're done. <clears throat> In 2015, they got approval for 20 new computers, which they fulfilled. Um, I don't think we're adding any additional additional computers to the 20. So they're on schedule to repair, replace 20 more in 2016. Mm -hmm. I think that that's, that's the, uh, what we were working on in the IT subcommittee. Um, <coughs> there was some discussion of, of using this money to pay for 365. Um, 
Tim can speak more on that, but I just wanted to clarify that they're still in the program to on track to rep without increasing their budget lines in those four lines. Okay. They're still on track to rep replace 20 computers. The four this original year. 015 budget Correct. line. By even not raising them, they're still on track to re okay. to So we haven't heard No. We we did not the program touch of replacing 20 Correct. computers. Correct. So, Tim? Yeah. But Eileen run the meeting, Jerry. Well, I know you've been trying to signal to say something. Call him patiently enough to let the chairman run the meeting. Bye, I'm gentlemen. See you for you. <laughs> the uh, <clears throat> the confusion I don't quite understand where it's coming from, but it's really rather simple. The finance director, who is the department head of MIS, proposed an increase of slightly over thirty six thousand dollars in what she refers to as the four equipment related line items. Twenty four thousand of that thirty six thousand dollar plus increase was intended for an Office three sixty five implementation. Right. The other 12 was apparently for, well, just equipment in general. It wasn't, I don't recall any specification as to what that, what that 12,000 was targeted to. In 2015, they had already purchased, uh, by the time we asked our written questions and got them answered to, they had already purchased 10. They have an annual recycle replacement schedule of 20 PCs per year. They had already placed 10. Last week, Christie reported they have an open PO for another 10. They're still well within the budget to do the 20 PC replacements in 2015 with 2015's budget. Therefore, with, if we carry the 2015 budget with the same number in tw as 2016 for those four equipment-related items, they will still be able to do their 20 PC replacements per their recycling schedule. So there, there was no need for that extra 12 plus thousand as we saw it. We didn't see any justification for that. Regarding the Office 365, we all agree that it is a fine concept to pursue. It needs a plan that's uh, more fully thought out than what has been revealed to the IT subcommittee. Uh, we see it as somewhat anemic with regard to the technical plan as well as the return on investment, to put it simply, from a management point of view. That's not nothing clearly specified either. So we are encouraging the plan of the adoption of Office 365 to be further developed to, prior to us adding more finance or adding financing to it. So that took out twenty-four thousand dollars. Okay. So there we are flat with the twenty fifteen budget. Now somewhere in the mix, there was you know there was a discussion at the IT because we had revealed that there was an MIS budget from. Uh, excuse me, an MIS fund that was created in 1997 that still had close to 30000 into it. Now, having had some discussions about that, it somehow got floated out that there was some desire to get rid of the fund. And uh, so we met today, the IT committee met today, and uh, I think we deliberated on the matter for like an hour. Close to it, yeah. Yeah, and so we tossed it around quite extensively, and we're all unanimous in agreeing that the fund should remain untouched. And so that's where we are. Who is the uh, subcommittee? Who makes it up? Nick is the current chairman. I am on it, and Mike Pierce is on it. <coughs> well, the Board of Selectmen didn't make any changes on it, all right? This is what this article is intended. This is what this article is The Board of Selectmen warrant article. They didn't vote on any changes. Right. Yes, they did. They voted for a warrant article to get to eliminate the fund. But this is also coupled that. with not... As I could saw in Monday's meeting, I don't recall there was any discussion about it, other than the presentation made by the town manager. <laughs> one of the other differences here, too, though, is that it's also coupled with not recommending the 360. Right. No, no, 360 no, the, is not the, mentioned in this one. The item. position of, of no, the subcommittee is, the is the that we, we, we all see benefit in 365. Yeah. Okay. What we want is a little bit more of a presentation so we can sell it to everybody. $24,000 a year moving forward in perpetuity is, is not small potatoes. We want to make sure we, we, we're, we're confident in selling that. Right now, we don't feel that we're it's not sitting well with us so our position after meeting today was there's no harm in leaving that money in the account for another year give them a little chance to kind of 
sell it a little more, get a better presentation for us to, to <coughs> answer the questions that we're in doubt of right now. Okay. Okay, so also on hold, you've taken the funding out of the budget for the That was done on Friday, I believe. Right. Yeah, we're very, the committee is very clear. We, we adamantly well, the do not adore the IT committee is clear. We are adamant. We're unanimous. We do not think that the implementation of 365, the plans are ready to be effectuated. We do not believe it ought to be funded this year. We think it's a great concept that should be pursued and the plans need to be better fleshed out. When they are better fleshed out, we will be unanimous in supporting it and in terms of financing it. Right. So we, should, we should vote on this article. Okay, any more discussion on this article, Scott? Um, I'll be supporting the article because I think this is a fine line where the subcommittee has overstepped their bounds and, and really gotten into management as opposed to review. And I, I just think that uh, the town, the selectmen, the manager, the department heads, uh, they want to they implement this, they see a need for it, and uh, they should be allowed to do that. And, and these funds will, will allow them to do that despite the fact that we've cut their their budget. Uh, yeah, I just want to make a quick comment and then I'll move off of it. Um, the original Article 27 was pretty clear. To raise an appropriate mon money, $30,000 to be placed in the fund, and with the passages of this one article, there would be a committee set up to recommend future withdrawals of this from this fund. That never happened by even the next year or whatever, so that's a little bit of history on the one article. We have almost $30,000 sitting here now because they did spend oh, about half of it in 1998. And this has been sitting there ever since. Not that I wasn't even aware of it, to be honest. And uh, so we have this $29,000 sitting there, which would probably be a nice fit with the town moving towards 365. However, I don't want to spend any of this money or any money in the budget towards 365 until we have a plan. I like saying, I want to build a big building that costs $5 million, but I have no plan. I don't think the public will buy that. No offense, it is not policy. That's just prudent thinking with money, a plan to spend. It. So that's my two cents. Jim? I take your point on, on, uh, on that. Um, the IT committee um, might be perceived as overstepping its bounds. But if you look at the 1997 Warren article, they created this fund. They also created it with the idea that there would be the formation of an MIS committee to recommend withdrawals from that fund. And as Mike just said, the committee was never created. So in this town, as far as an MIS committee or an IT committee, your budget committee's IT subcommittee is the closest thing this town has in terms of making a recommendation. And so that's what we're doing. Okay. Just so I can answer that question, Madam Chairman, there was an IT committee at one, or a committee on this particular warrant article at one point in time because funds were, were withdrawn and the town meeting allowed it. And the selectmen appoint all committees, not, not the budget committee. And the selectmen are acting, the committee, acting as the committee because they can appoint themselves as the committee to withdraw these funds. And that's why the warrant article is here. That's their privilege under the law. In 1997, this fund was created. In 1998, the selectmen created a warrant article to withdraw about half the money. Right? There was no MIS committee created. The board was. May the have, MIS you may interpret that as being implicitly <coughs> the board created themselves as a committee. But you could can. interpret it that way. But they uh, can. Yeah, you could interpret that 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 took yeah. place. I'm not objecting to that. No, but they they I'm simply can't. giving the history of it. It was created in '97. Right. Half the fund was withdrawn in '98. Hasn't been touched since '98. Thrown back as a result of the work of the trustees of the trust fund to nearly its original amount of thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. As I pointed out earlier, this warrant article to eliminate the MIS fund uh, was passed by the board of selectmen Monday night unanimously without any discussion only the presentation by the town manager. I didn't hear the man saying anything about creating themselves as an IT committee when they made that vote. They didn't do that in public, is what you're saying. They don't have to. They are the committee mm. by statute. Didn't say they had to. I All said right. said what We've had place. plenty of discussion on this. All those in favor of this Warren article? Scott? 
Jim. Bob. Phil. And Phil. And Phil. Well, again. Thank you. All right. All those opposed? Jerry, Mike, Tim. Six. Mike. Sonny, what was your vote? I was six. Oh. For it? I'm sorry. Okay. Brian, no. Eileen, no. All right, Tell you that I'm chair so I can write it down for you. Okay. Sonny was a yes, Scott was a yes, Phil was a yes, and Bob was a yes. And I was a yes. And Jim was a yes. Oh, it, pa it failed or passed? Everyone else was a no, so it failed. It failed. Okay, let's move on. We'll be Madam here Chair, real, real quick, if I might. So the vote's eight to four. Um, I'm sorry, okay. four to eight. It, it, was, it was discussed again at the budget IT subcommittee meeting that uh, um, just after, after the consideration we gave this and, and the fact that we do want 365 to move forward, um, and we, we were, you know, the, the, sub, the position of the subcommittee is that the money stay where it is. I would make a motion on behalf of the IT subcommittee um, to respectfully request that the Board of Selectmen withdraw this article from the ballot. I second that motion. Any discussion on that? I think we've already discussed it uh, previously. We beat this like a dead horse. Okay. All those in favor of suggesting. suggesting that the Board of Selectmen withdraw. Same vote? Yeah. Same vote. Seven Only this time it's eight to four. Seven to five. It's a recommendation five, anyway. They can do. Seven to five, right? Well, that's what the last one was, right? Seven to five. Seven to five. Well, the other seven one five. was. Keep going. Last time was five yes, seven no. This time it's seven yes, five no. I just doodling. I don't have any others. I'll keep going. Madam Chair, Article 30. $20,000 to be placed in something called the Hampton Conservation Fund. Okay, Jay, would you come down and join us? That, is, that one, is that the one you wanted, Ms. Uh, Madam Chairman? That, that, that one next? That sounds like a proper name, doesn't it? That is the next article, yes. Good evening, Jay. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Want to talk to us a little bit on this one? Sure. Um, at the meeting last Thursday, um, there was some discussion about the fact that there had been a number of different names under which this fund existed over the years since it was created in 1987, and a request was made to clarify that issue. Um, we believe we've done so with this warrant article, um, which references the Hampton Conservation Fund, um, and it also states the Conservation Fund contains previously approved appropriations or gifts for the same or similar purposes that have made to the, quote, Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund, unquote, the, quote, Conservation Land Fund, unquote, and the, quote, Conservation Land Acquisition mm -hmm. Fund. So those funds are effectively being rolled into what now and from this point forward will be known as the Hampton Conservation Fund. I have one question for you after spending way too much time on this. The Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund mm -hmm. was the only warrant article that I found for creation of a fund back in 1987. Correct. There were subsequent warrant articles that included allocations to the other named funds. Right, they but didn't. there was never a legal creation of any of the other funds from what Correct. many well, of us re many of us researched this and not only on this committee it even goes to Ellen Lavin, our treasurer, for what the names of the funds were and even by your research in which you came up with the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund, 
I'm just looking to, cl to clear this up once and for all. Oh, you and me both. Legally, one fund is out there. You have an operating budget. I believe you have um, a CD and an account from a gift that goes back to Seabrook Station, I believe. And you have what was created in 1987 as the Land Accumulation Fund. But now we're going to ask for money under the Hampton Conservation Fund with no link in the history as to when that change in name occurred. So the thing that troubles me is we're right back to where we were and somebody going looking for the Hampton, Hampton Conservation Fund <coughs> as an entity that was informed. That's an attention. And the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund is in the records. So that's where my quandary is in approving this. Not the intent of it. Shouldn't this or an article go attempt to create the title and then fund the title with previous funds? Well, we're not talking about grant. changing a title in it, though. Well, what we're talking saying. about is being referred to as other things. But well, we should, yeah. But it. I don't we have spent so much time cleaning up the name and finding, because as you recall, when you were in here last, how many funds did we have? Nobody knew the answer. Was it one? Was it two? Was it three? Um, and I think finally we know where we are, mm -hmm. but I was just hoping that we could have a warrant article that cleaned that all up. I would have been happy if this said, you know, the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund, because that's what we see from 1987 and no name changes in between. There, well, there, there were name changes via warrant articles. Those warrant articles were approved. I, I don't know how or when those name changes occurred. The only answer to your question, to, to your, what you're suggesting is to go back to the um, the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund, right. but nobody knows what that means. <laughs> That's the whole point of That's this, great. of the whole thing, is that Which when is we why? ask, when we ask the taxpayers for money, it need to me, it needs to go into a fund that the name was voted on and actually developed at some point in time, not because it sounds better to call it something else without asking the voters to actually change the name. So that's my quandary on this one, is that here again, we're gonna be voting to accept money to the Hampton Conservation Fund when actually the Hampton Conservation Fund is the Conserva uh, Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund. <laughs> Madam Chairman, the statute's pretty clear. I think we could just move forward based on the statutes alone. Citing what? It's called the Conservation Fund. Statute says that. It doesn't say anything about accumulation. It accumulates <coughs> everything. Madam Chair. Yep. The Conservation Commission has been the sole manager of this fund and, and, and throughout all the years. They're the ones that decide whether to accept money to put into the fund from whatever source and how and when to expend money from that fund. Now, according to the statute, uh, the Conservation Commission has authority over one such fund. It's called the Conservation Fund, literally, in the statute. Mm -hmm. So that name has some substance to it. I personally have not discovered, nor have I exhaustively searched for, the creation of the conservation fund. I assume, based on the behavior, that it exists. With regard to the land conservation commission accumulation fund of Article 32 in 1987, I would challenge that it was actually created because it says the city of the town will vote in, to raise and appropriate the sum of thirty thousand dollars for the conservation. Commission Accumulation Fund. Nowhere in this article does it say to create the fund. It simply says, much like last year's one for the Land Acquisition Fund, much like this one does uh, this year. It doesn't have the word create in it, it just assumes it already exists. So the article in 1987 is also operating under an assumption of a name, an assumed name, if you will. 
But I think if we are to assume a name without having actually a Warren article that gives birth to a fund name, I think if we are to assume a name, the name is properly the Conservation Fund, as is specified in the statute. So I'm okay with that assumption, kind of, sort of. I much would like to have the actual Warren article, but I don't think we're going to find that for some time. We've been searching for it. Uh, without, I mean, we haven't had a focus circus, uh, sur search for it. Uh, but it has something to do with the circus. But, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's likely to be found probably in like 1940s or 50s or something like that. Whenever the Conservation Commission was created, probably a year or two after that. I went back as far as I could. And how far did you go? I couldn't find it. I think into the 60s. Yeah. yeah. How, far, how old is the Conservation Commission in the end? I believe it was started in the 60s. Oh, okay. And you didn't find it, huh? Wow. That does bear kind of question whether we've actually formally created it. When did they write the conservation statute? Do you have any idea? My mem it's just memory my, tells me it was like in, in uh, the 30s or 40s. But that's That'd be my guess, too, without looking. Mm. We could and I thought Hampton created their commission like shortly after that statute was enacted, but you, you seem to know it was in the 60s, right? I believe so. Yeah. So there is, that is a valid question that you're raising, Madam Chair. Yeah. But I think the, the article in 1987 doesn't, doesn't help us doesn't in any way. It doesn't go back far enough. No, it doesn't help us in any way. It doesn't use the word create or any variation of it. Well, Jay, I think you're stuck as much as we're stuck. And we know the intent and we know the work that the Conservation Commission has done. I think the point is to try, especially when we ask for money, to clarify things. Um, I have a suggestion on how it can be written. Good. If you can write well, it. We can't rewrite it now. The Selectman's Warren article, and they can change it. it. Can't change we, it. We, we can't change the Warren article. Okay. But I think that both Jay and I better have a much better understanding of where the history is and where all the funds are right now. Well, we know what I. I believe we know where all the funds are. The history is <laughs> something else. You mean the you mean the money? The money. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we know. <laughs> Let's put it this way: we know what, where we are from 1987 forward. Um, I would be okay on this, as apparently we've been doing it wrong forever. Um, <laughs> that makes it right. Yeah. We've always You've got it all wrapped up in there, and I would hope that in this coming year you'll find a way to do that history and wrap it all up in one. War, one Warren article for actually. One Warren article for clarity Thanks. to be Thanks. adopted, to roll all the names in as one. It's too late now. Um, <clears throat> but I really think it's essential because one day you and I won't be here and it'll be somebody else. And Come on. I think this is one of those, you know, hey, I've been on this committee for 15 years. I can tell you what's gone on for 15 years. But I can't give you the history 16 years ago, all right? And all of us get plopped in at a certain point in time, and it's not until the question comes up and we go backwards like this that it gets really murky. And we're talking about funds that are held in particular names under certain conditions. Not all funds can be accessed in any way we want to access them. And I think it would definitely be a benefit to you to clear that up. Sure. Mm -hmm. I think we've made real progress this year, Jay. We've come to finally acknowledge that we have one and only one fund, which mm -hmm. has several accounts, which are managed, that have management controls as to how that, those accounts will be used. But that's a major step, given where we were yeah. three years ago when this discussion, three years ago, literally, when this discussion was begun, as you may recall. So I think we've made some real progress. I think there's still a valid question as to the name. That name, Conservation Fund, I believe, is in ordinances, for example, with regard to when uh, change of use occurs in land, you, the Conservation Fund gets a percentage of that tax, mm -hmm. right? Right. And it's, and it's actually refers to the Conservation Fund. So uh, there is a ripple effects in terms of the need to get that actual warrant article for the creation of the fund. That's a really good thing. I will not be voting on this warrant article on the basis of the name myself. I will be voting on uh, for other reasons. So if we can get past the name and start speaking to the rest of the article, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jay, uh, normally, whatever you used to call the thing before, it was $10,000 every year, we're going to throw something in this fund in case we want to buy some land later on. Mm -hmm. 
Correct. And this year I heard you at the Board of Selectmen say since we always win that article, we always get a favorable vote mm -hmm. on that article, right? Um, I... Well, you do. Go ahead, please. Yeah. You, did, you did say that. We always come in with $10,000, and we, we almost always get it passed by a large percentage. Right? Uh, we are grateful for the voters' support of our warrant articles. Right. I, I don't want to appear arrogant. Well, I don't mean to suggest that. I was paraphrasing. These were not your words I was using. Okay. okay. And I don't mean to suggest that. But you did essentially say that because we get the $10,000 article uh, approved pretty much every year, that you thought you'd double it this year. The, the, the reason we're increasing it is because we're speaking now to people about four different parcels that have potential to be acquired by the town through the Conservation Commission, either to be acquired outright or via conservation easement. Do I know that they're all going to come through? No, I don't. But I think there's real potential there. Um, in three cases, the individuals, the property owners, have approached us Mm -hmm. indicating an interest. Um, and that tells me that they're very sincere about wanting to pursue this. So it's more because of that, because we th see an opportunity coming up fairly quickly to acquire some appreciable properties on behalf of the town that we'd like to see if there's something we can do that could speed up, speed up the the increase in the size of this fund so if we do have to go to the town to ask for additional funds for any of these particular acquisitions we can minimize those requests and that's that's always been our goal so because you've got some uh, uh, potential purchasers in mind which is news to me tonight that's fine that's the reason that you doubled the normal amount from 10 to 20 thousand correct and uh, finally, Madam Chair, I will be voting against this because I believe that when the Conservation Commission wants to acquire property, uh, it ought to just put out the number and say this is the tax impact for the actual acquisition, and not say, oh, we have some savings account we can take it from, so the tax impact is going to be little or nothing. Right? It should be just, we have a project, we want to do a project, this is the amount, and let the voters decide on that basis, not some, hey, we've got some money on the side we can throw in to sweeten the pot here. Because it's sweetened pot from taxpayer money from years past. We, we so for that reason, Jay, not not the name, mm -hmm. but for that reason, I will be voting against this. Okay, just so you understand. I think we've had enough discussion on this. Let's take a vote on this article. Sure, I don't All appreciate right. being interrupted. I, I let let's just shame okay. and run. Let's Gentlemen. just shame and run this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else on staff? Who hasn't spoken? Okay. All those in favor of Article Thirty. Okay, that would be. Mr. Bean. Nick, Scott, Mr. Bean. We can't see over in the corner there. Sonny, Jim, yes. Bob, Jerry. After my fun speech, Mike. Mike. Yep, that's right. <laughs> All those opposed? Tim? Eileen? Brian? And Mike? Get that no, four. Eileen voted no. Fine. I voted no. Okay, that passes. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. It's a good step forward, Thank you. Jay. Good Appreciate step. It. it still passed, but it did vote for me. That's a good step. Give me the benefit. I'm sure the, the next article was changed, I believe. Yeah. It's the war fund. The yeah, the next changed. one going down in order would be 31. Correct. Okay, shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $5,000, said sum of 5000 to come from the unsigned fund balance, the fund containing ex unexpended appropriations from prior years as of December 31st, 2015, <coughs> and with no amount to be raised from taxation to provide partial funding for the planning of a town war memorial dedicated to the town's sons and daughters who have served in the militia for the protection of the community. Yes. <coughs> in wars from 1638 to 1774 and who have fought in wars 
for our nation from 1775 to date and to provide appropriate space on such memorial for those who shall serve in future wars. The Board of Selectmen to work with the Hamptons Post 35 of the American Legion and such individuals as the Board of Selectmen shall appoint to plan the memorial and its place for erection on a parcel of town-owned land and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, accept, and expend for such purpose any funds from the state of New Hampshire, the federal government, any private source as may become available to add to the sum. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7, Roman numeral 6, and will not lapse until the project is completed or by March 31st, 2019, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen, um, 5 to 0. Um, <clears throat> I see that definite location has been taken out of here. Fred? Right. Any other change from the original, other than the location? No, I don't, I don't think so. We just tried to make it a little clearer. Okay. Was it always being funded from the uh, unassigned fund balance? Yeah. It was? Yeah. Yes, okay. it was. Yeah. Okay. And I think we killed this one the other night, and as I remember, many of you were in favor of the project, but not the location. So that was taken out. We thank the Board of Selectmen for going back and redoing this article, Fred. I'll, I'll pass that on. Thank you. Yes, thank you for doing that. Um, can I have a motion for discussion on motion. this? Motion. Nick? Second. Jerry? I second it. Do we need a discussion? No. All those in favor? Unanimous. No, I didn't. Oh, oh, sorry. Opposed? You want to know why? No. no. You're welcome. <laughs> I love you. I just wonder. Well, I want the memorial. I just don't want to take it out of the unsigned fund box. Yeah. <clears throat> you don't want to take it out of the unsigned, so you want to raise taxes for it? I want to raise taxes for this? Well, Oh, well, yeah, we raise taxes to pay for it, absolutely, because if you take it out of the unsigned fund, 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 fund balance, that number keeps getting a lower and lower. It means I don't know what the cash okay. improvement of that fund is right now. I prefer not driving it through zero if it's that close. I have no idea what's in the fund. All right, gave you the opportunity, Mike, to change your mind. Well, All then, right. You're welcome. Thank you for that pleasure. <laughs> opportunity. Moving on to 32. Pleasure opportunity. Heritage fund. <clears throat> Shall the Town of Hampton vote to distribute to the General Fund all funds that were left in the Heritage Fund currently amounting to approximately $5,329.58 plus any additional interest earned thereon from past monies appropriated and gifts of money which are no longer needed due to the abolition of the Heritage Commission as a result of the passage of Article 35 at the 2015 annual town meeting. I'll move the question, Madam Chair. I'll second, second it. Madam Chair. Hold on. <coughs> Discussion on this? The, the uh, previous article took Point. money out of the unassigned fund balance. Right. This article is going to put money into the general fund. Mm -hmm. I wonder why it's not putting money into the unassigned fund. Because you can't. Ah. Only the auditors can do that or the DRA. So when this money goes into the general fund. It'll lapse to that. When it goes into the general fund, that, that means it's expendable in 2016, right? It, it's a revenue. Okay, it's, it's revenue. Gonna okay. It's going to lapse to So it's considered the revenue. That's, that's not right. an appropriate. Right, okay, great. Revenue. Thank you for that clarification. Fred, appreciate it. I'm done, and I'm ready to vote. Th thank you for asking okay. that question. I close it up. Anybody else? It's this house. This is housekeeping. Um, all those in favor? Unanimous, Unanimous right, Mr. Bean? Yeah. I can't see him. Have to Where is Mr. Bean hiding? 
Well, I'll, keep a, I'll keep a track of him. I've got a right. clear view of the guy. Right going <laughs> on to Article 43. I think everything else in the middle is okay. The number again? 43. What is that one? Right there? Christmas parade. Okay. Madam Chair, I move Article 43. $3,000 for Santa Claus and his okay. Christmas parade. Second. We know what it is. As written. Second. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Do we need discussion on this? No. no. All those in favor? Unanimous. Unanimous. So I spent $3,000. was it two? More than happy. Three grand. I spent three? Three thousand bucks. Yeah. You want to increase it? Madam Chair, Article 44, I believe, is next, right? <clears throat> and I might add, Experience Hampton does an excellent job of fundraising for the parade. That $3,000 sure. is only a token compared to what they raised and put into that. They get our vote every year. Huh? They get our vote every year. Well, they should. Article 44, Madam Chair, is next, right? Yes, it is. Travel um, time, raise and appropriate the sum of $35,000 to help defray the costs of carrying out repairs and maintenance to the town clock. I so move, Article 44 as written. Second. $4.17. I'm sorry, who second? I did. And I made a comment. If when you're ready, Madam Chairman. I'm sorry? I have a comment on to discuss. All right, go ahead. If you want me to while you're writing that stuff down. Yep. As I recall, and this is probably 15 years ago, give or take a year or two, uh, they brought forward the idea of preserving the old clock. And I think Mr. Weber was fundamentally involved with that. And then they tried to decide where to put it. And on and on, I struck out all these years for various reasons. I am under the impression, from my memory, that this was going to be funded externally by donations, period. I don't remember anybody ever broaching for money until this one article that I can recall, unless I missed something, which is likely. But I just seem to be funded the way it's always been funded, from external sources. There was a Warren article a couple of years ago. Last year. Last year. Well, put it in center school. Well, I have a couple of forty-five thousand or so. Yeah, I've got a question here. That was here. to build the I'm looking at that foundation and so forth. Tim paraphrased the Warren article. It says such funds raised by this article to be used along with privately raised funds that are currently in the town's possession. Do we know how much is in the town's possession currently? No. Is there is there anything in the town's possession? Oh, there's money. There is. Oh, yeah. There is money. And I want to say in the hundred thousand range, but I'd have to go check. I can tell you tomorrow night if you'd like, but I don't have that number tonight. There is definitely money that has come in through private donations. They had a fundraiser with town or bricks. They yeah, sold bricks. Our, our department sold bricks. Yes. So the money came into our department. And then last year there was a Warren article. Last year it didn't pass. But there was a Warren article on the ballot for 75000 We had this discussion last year, I believe, at the public hearing. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, at the beginning of 15, when after the article failed, we did receive, I think, I want to guess about 15000 in donations from private citizens that went into that. I think as a reflection of the article not passing, they did take in some money. Okay. But that was for the expenses of putting the tower, whatever you want to call it, over in front of Center School, though, right? I don't know. I just know it's a town clock fund and that we do have money in it. Okay. Here's the track. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't address the location. It's talking about constructing a tower, but do we still have the location at the Center School? Front of the Center School. Well, I'm not sure. No, I think it was. The Warren article failed, so. And this Warren isn't specific failed. to location. Do we still have an agreement with the school? I think it's still um, I think so. supposed or planned for the school. I think it's planned for there, but I'm not sure if there's been an actual encumbrance. Right. That's what, because I know, what, three or four years ago, we thought somebody was, nego I thought somebody was negotiating between the school and town to put it in front of school. We never did make an agreement mm -hmm. then, probably. I believe it was last yeah. year. I haven't seen one in the school. Okay, thank you for that. Hmm? I believe it was last year that the budget committee voted for the clock. Oh, yeah. Then we went to public hearing. We got a wonderful history lesson, I believe, from Fred Rice. I'm not sure about how this was always a private ethics, so, so, so. and the budget committee reopened for discussion, and we voted 
to not recommend. That is true. It was a 10-4 not to recommend in yeah. last year's warrant. And Jerry, if my memory serves me, I think it was going to be at the Senate School, yeah. but I'm yeah. not sure that everybody I was thinking yes. about that. I think the is, that's where it's yes, going to be. Yes, it was at that time. We talked about so, it, as a matter of fact, last night at the school board meeting. Yeah. And Senate, the front of Senate School is where it was going to go. Still. Now, I don't know if any warrant got to go put it there or not. To okay. Reclaiming my time, if I might not All right, just a minute. I want to just clarify that. And there was, the woman did mention bag. Amy, whatever her last name is, I don't know. There was about $100,000 mm -hmm. already established, approximately $100,000. And that's what I think is about one hundred. And that they're, they're going to, their plan is to start the ball. Even if this warrant article fails, they're going to start, they're going to start using that 100000 constructing um, the 12-foot, Tower and the, the different different kind of post and beam uh, construction, like the old antique barns and stuff, uh, and uh, it's going to have front and back see-through glass, so you can see right through it. And it's going to be a bell inside that doesn't ring like a normal bell, but a, a bong that hits it. Bong. I don't know if it's once every six hours or whatever. Because I said, well, I don't see how that bell can swing. <laughs> I'm reclaiming my time. <laughs> so I'm leaving it at that. I'm done. I don't want to beat this. Thank you, Jerry. Tim? So last year, when we voted in favor of the clock, we went to public hearing, and we, we listened to Mr. Fred Rice tell us the history lesson and why we should not have voted in favor of it. So we changed our vote to not be in favor of it. So we could vote in favor of it tonight and then listen to Fred tomorrow night give us the same history lesson. <laughs> Or we can vote against it and have the other side come and tell us why we were wrong. <laughs> we suffer from lack of I, I, I say we tried it one way last year. Let's try it the other way this year. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? I, I have no idea. Yeah. It seems to me that we have a better use for taxpayer money. Let them fund it privately and do what they want. We don't need a town clock to, to tell us what time, time it is. Concord has it on Main Street, a clock like that. All right. But I mean, we've got better uses for the money. Let them do it privately. Anyone else? Okay. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll just chip in with um, last year's Warren article. Um, the proposed date of the construction was May 31st of 2013. <laughs> I don't understand. This would be a non-lapsing account, so obviously that's why the money is still there. Mm -hmm. um, I think the design is changed. Until mm -hmm. 2020, there is actually a date. Who put the money in? James. It's, we, we matched. So we've already made a contribution. Right. Well, we voted last year. And we voted last out. year 10 to 4 to not recommend. And the article failed, so. Right. right. Okay. Plus it's about 12. All right. All those in favor. All right. Phil. It was the same, the same year, floor right? as last year. I know. <laughs> so. so I get to listen to Fred again. Phil, Nick, <laughs> Scott. Fred Rice, that was. Jim. <laughs> Bob. All those opposed. Mike, Sonny, Brian. Eileen, Tim, Mike. Jerry. I'm abstaining. <laughs> Why are you abstaining? You all that like, all like talk. I tell you what I heard last night. Then. Okay. Is that five five one. Okay, so it fails. What's the count, Madam Chair? Let's see. I had Phil, Nick, Scott, Jim, and Bob. So that's five for it. Mike, Sonny, Brian, me. Tim and Mike, so five, six, and one. That sound right? It's okay with me. Five, six, one. Five, six, one. Jerry abstained. And Jerry abstained. Five, He's six, the one. Six. Maybe we'll get a good argument one way or the other tomorrow night. All right, I believe we are through with the Warren articles. Fred, you guys keep track of me. Did I miss any? I don't believe you did, ma'am. Except for the CBAs. Except for the CBAs. All right. Oh, what about the fires? Uh, the secretary, full time. 
We both we did that. We did I that. I mean, in, in lieu of all this data that we got, it shows the difference. I'd like to I'd like to have that reconsidered. We'll make a motion then. I'd like to make a motion we reconsider this. Okay. I have a second of that? Sure, I'll second it. Okay. Right. Okay, we have a part-time... We have to vote on the reconsideration, I believe, do we not? We would. Yep, you all do. those in favor of reconsideration. Reconsidering what? What article? Oh, there's going to be... The fire of secretary. Which article number, Jerry? Well, that 20, was 29, but I don't know. Now it's 28. 28. 28. All right, so we've got a motion to reconsider article 28, seconded by Michael. It did pass? Is that what... <laughs> We did pass it. Okay. But I mean, some um, but additional information came on board. Let's take a vote on reconsidering it to open it back up again. Okay. Who's in favor of reconsidering? Are you guys going to pay attention to the meeting over there? All right. All those to, that want to reconsider? My help would not be helpful. Hands up. Reconsideration. Okay. Mike, are you up or down? You're up for reconsideration? I was interrupted. I unplugged the computer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Mike, Jerry, and Mike. And Eileen for reconsideration. So that's four yes. Those no. And abstentions. One abstention. <laughs> So the reconsideration Did you fails. Give us the Vean's vote. Uh, that's a negative, sir. I thought so. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Negative. She didn't get it, or was a no vote. Say again. Let's move forward. <laughs> yes. No vote. Can I make a two-minute? It's a no vote, no. Fred. So he's abstaining, or is he saying no? No, it's a no vote. Okay. Thank you. All right. Talk about you, Mr. Dean. Now I'd like to move on to the CBAs. Yikes. Yikes. There's only five of them, right? Five I believe the information went out to you, but Jamie, if you would come down and join us. So we're doing this Article 12 for us, Madam Chair? Does it have a formality? Shall I move it? No, wait a minute. Okay. okay. Get them all covered here. Yeah, move. Hey, Tim, you're going to move Article 12 for discussion. Madam Chair, if I may. Jim. I'll second that. Move Article 12 as written with the support of Brian Lapham as my second. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I gave it to him already. Go ahead. How would you like to proceed? Well, give us an overview. We have the details on it, but why don't you run us through them? Sure. Because we just recently got them. So I, I would suggest that we, we take a look at the two fire together. They're identical. That way you can move forward if you wish. Um, essentially, I'll give you an overview of all the CBAs. We come before you tonight with five collective bargaining agreements. Two in the fire, two in police, one in Teamsters. The two you brought forward first are the fire. Um, we spent uh, approximately five months with all of the units negotiating. Uh, the board had set its priorities of what um, was a guidance to the negotiating committee. Um, our primary focus was to try and uh, deal with the language related to the Cadillac tax. That was sort of our cornerstone mm -hmm. as we went through it. And as you know, during negotiations, there's back and forth. In the end, we reached agreements um, with three of the unions regarding the Cadillac tax. Uh, with the two fire unions, we were not able to reach agreement on language regarding the Cadillac tax. Um, subsequently, the board gave us direction to go back and see if we could do a one-year extension, if we could reach agreement, and we were able to do so. So before you are two contracts, one for the firefighters, one for the supervisors. It is a one-year contract, and there are only two items that change from the current contract. One is a COLA for one year of 1.75%. The other is language dealing with what was and is the existing sick bank. There are a number of items in there that there was a memorandum of understanding or agreement reached earlier in the year with the Board of Selectmen 
There were some issues that came up with regard to that language and clarity, some calculations on um, how many hours uh, can be involved in arrears and uh, operational issues. That was signed earlier. We incorporated that in the final agreement of both cases here as well. We recommend that that's a good thing to do. So those are the fire contracts as an overview. There's only two changes to the existing contract in a one-year deal. Is there anything unique about Article 12 that you'd like to say? Uh, no, I don't, I don't believe so. The calculations, the format follows what has historically been, um, and it indicates both the breakdown, because as, as you'll see these, there's, because we are April expiration dates, there are 39 weeks in one year, 13 weeks in the other year, and it breaks it out to show our, our public exactly how much we'll be spending each of those years, and subsequently what the total is over the life of that contract. Again, in this case, they're one-year contracts. I'd be happy to answer any questions. I got a question for you. Uh, if that's all right with the chair. He's joking, Mike, to see. She is a chairman. I'm just trying to play ball. <laughs> got to play ball here. Um, at last, I thought that would be postponed to 2020. It, it, it's, it had. It is, yes. Under the law, it was recently with the budget deal was pushed off, yeah. So... We didn't know that when we were negotiating. Oh, so at this point in time, hindsight's 2020, we wouldn't have to work with that at all on a one-year contract. No, in fact, we had reached agreements with three of the units uh, prior to that bill, that, you know, that, that discussion coming up. Um, and again, with uh, uh, the fire unit, we weren't were able to reach an agreement at the end. Okay, thank you. On the ballot, will the language of the agreements be spelled out or no, no and historically it's not we've handed it out to you it'll be on the website for folks to do we'll talk about it at town meeting the cost items are required to be noticed in the warrant article and that's what you see just to clarify the omnibus legislation that uh, delayed the implementation Correct. of Obamacare's Cadillac tax is not guaranteed to be made in effect next year or next month or whatever Another piece of omnibus legislation could very well bring it back. Well, whatever it is. So, it is. Yep. The fact that the chief, or excuse me, Jamie Sullivan, uh, had been having it on the table regardless of that status is noteworthy. Mm -hmm. All right. And as I understand, I would note the board of selectmen set well, the priorities. Along with those We're who just are, the committee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Along with those mm -hmm. who are standing behind you strongly and firmly. Uh, he didn't say how far back, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, the point is that even on the, the one-year deal where they couldn't get the proper language, I will call we it proper. Able to reach, I will call we weren't it able to reach language. agreement on the, on the issues. That's correct. The language that you did get in the, the three-year deals was the proper language, as you described it at the board of selectmen meeting Monday night. In fact, you described the same language that SAU 90 uh, used in theirs, which uh, this committee, uh, I certainly applauded that language. And uh, the fact that the one-year contract speaks to it not at all is a good thing rather than something rather adverse to town taxpayers. The only thing I caution is I haven't read SEU 90's language, so I don't know if it's exactly the I same. Either, but the, that's purpose, the, the purpose is there. <laughs> the purpose is exactly the same. The presentation that you gave at the board I saw this with the way they came before. Like word for word. Right, but again, I haven't read the language, so I, I don't want to say it's this. exactly. <laughs> Probably not, because I wrote it, so. <laughs> no, I made your presentation. Yes, sir. Okay. Do Sonny? you want us to move this all in one no, mass? Or? Sonny's got a question. Not done yet. One quick question. Yes, sir. Is there any discussion during the negotiation about the fact that the, the town's liability for the pension funds are going to show up now? Pension funds are a state issue. I understand. They were not anything we discussed at the table. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, I mean, it's a reality that everybody knows about the financial realities of that, but well, that yeah. is not an issue we can deal with at the table and have any effect. It's a state I issue. Know whether it was raised at all. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's well aware of yeah, all of the constraints I, I, that we all deal with. Yes, sir. Huh? yes, sir. Okay. If we've killed this one, yeah. and are we? We're voting for the both yeah. the same. So we might as well just vote one. Want to move Article 13 as well? Yeah. yeah. I'll move Article 13 as written. Second. And I move that we vote for Article 12 and 13 collectively. Second. All right. All those in favor? Opposed? One, in, one opposed. On both? Yes. All the above. 
I opposed to combining them. I'm opposed to the voting on each one, etc. So there's okay. actually three issues there to vote on. Keep moving. Can I move Article 14 now, Minister? And I would suggest you do 14 and 15 again. The next two are the police, the patrolmen and sergeants. Again, similar issues within the contract. It would make sense if you'd like to Suggestion do Suggestion well taken. So, Madam Chair, may I move yes. Article 14 and 15 Second. as written? Second. So these two deal with the police officers and the sergeants, two separate contracts but represented by the same group. Um, again, the primary cornerstone of our focus was dealing with the Cadillac tax language. We were able to reach agreement. Um, I'll go through quickly. Again, you have it in front of it. Do you want me to go through the detail, Madam Chair, or do you want to do you want to just deal with the larger issues? How would you like to approach it? Uh, I'd like. Might as well give us the details too, Very so good. we're fully informed. Thank you. So, on the documents you have in front of you, see on the web pages. Again, where it's two contracts, there's two sections. There's Article 12, Section 4, for example, in the first. Then, in parentheses, there's Article 11, Section 4. Those refer to patrolmen and sergeants, and it follows through the logic. <coughs> um, we have made an agreement that. In the prior contract, uh, there are officers that on the midnight shift, due to prior agreement, uh, are able to work out during their lunch break. Instead of having their lunch break, they can go down to the fitness room if they wish. We've added to allow the detectives and prosecutors who work in there to do the same thing. Essentially, they take their lunch break in there, but they're, they're immediate, uh, subject to immediate recall. No financial impact on that <coughs> issue. Um, this is an issue that, that was brought up at discussions dealing with, we have a number of folks who retire from full-time service who then want to stay on as part-time officers. And we've got a number of them that have done that. And what has happened in the past in seniority is you get plugged in based on your date of hire, your natural amount of seniority. The union and, and we had some discussions because there's some consideration, frankly, between the full-time service and part-time. Essentially, 28 years of full-time service should be credited as the thought process higher than someone who serves 28 years part-time, just 10 weeks in the summer. So uh, the agreement was that basically all those folks who retire from full-time service, who remain on, will go to their appropriate place above all the other part-time guys. That's the agreement that, that we've reached. Again, it's not a cost item. All those people are still on there eligible for overtime. It's just a, a procedural issue that, that the union was interested in <laughs> we agreed to. Sorry. Um, there was a couple of things throughout. There's some language issues that have been in the contract for a number of years. They're just things that needed to be fixed. This next section, Article 13, Section 8, is a language issue. There was a missing word in there. We've fixed that. Um, the new section has been added. This was a part of our discussion with the Cadillac tax. Uh, we have created a, an opportunity for officers. Currently, they just if you have an extra shift or something, it's paid at overtime, time and a half. Um, there's been an agreement to create a comp time bank. Instead of taking overtime, the officer can choose to take compensation time, more earned time. Um, so we cap that at no more than 40 hours, and it must be used in a six-month period. Chief was in favor of doing this, uh, so we made the agreement. In some cases, we think that may save some overtime for us because we don't fill all overtime. Somebody can take more time, work that out. Again, they have to use it within six months. Um, and it's going to be treated much like their vacation is and how they'll have to notice to take it, that type of thing. Um, the next section deals with recognizing our part-time officers. There was a discussion. Uh, they, they get their pay, but they don't have any other stuff. For folks that serve, we've agreed, more than five years or five years or more of service, worked 40 shifts at least, basically their required shifts, the prior summer, they'll receive one eight-hour personal day opportunity for the summer they're working. So basically, you're recognizing them by giving them an eight-hour shift off after five years of service. We thought it was a very reasonable thing to do to recognize our long-serving uh, part-timers. Now, keep in mind, as Chief Sawyer has reported to you a number of times that I have in the past, there aren't all that many left that have more than five years of service. We've got a whole bunch on the upper level, but quite frankly, with the number of part-timers we currently have, this isn't really a big number at all. I mean, we're, we're dealing with small numbers here. Um, Again, as we discussed in the fire contract, the police unit is involved in that sick bank as well. We incorporated those word changers and language issues in here as well. Um, the, the other significant thing in here, there are several things in that sick bank. Again, deals with the calculation of hours, eliminates reference to a, a panel that's never been used in the life of the, the discussions. Um, it, it cleans up some language that led to a conflict previously about how you enter the sick bank and also establishes the ability to transition folks who are out on sick bank back to work in a light duty status. It's a lot of data that shows that that is beneficial to both the job 
and the employees. We want to get people back to work. We want them working full time as quickly as we can, and that connection the data shows is good. So we made that agreement as well. Um, Again, this is the next section on 19 is a language change. That RSA 281A15 was transcribed improperly. It was 218 previously, so we just fixed the language there. Again, this is an increase of difference. Currently, if someone opts out of our medical plans, which we know are very expensive to the town, there is a, a, a payment to them for opting out of that. They go on their wife's plan or another plan. Um, in some cases, we have younger officers who stay on and remain on their parents' plan. If they opt out, they were currently given a stipend or an amount as long as they show they're on other, other uh, insurance. Um, I want to say it's of currently of $500, $750, and 1000 for the single two-person family. Mm -hmm. Those numbers have been increased. That hasn't been changed in many years. Those numbers, again, as a part of our discussions, have been increased to 2000 3000 or 4000 And again, and I would remind us that several of these family plans are in the $29,000 range, give or take, up or down from there, depending on the plan you pick. So it's still a relatively no, no, low number, but we felt it was appropriate as part of our Cadillac tax discussion. This was one of our side's concession towards that. Then we get into the section dealing with the health plans and the Cadillac tax. And essentially what we've done here is said, when and if that Cadillac tax is imposed, one of two things is going to occur. The member is either going to move to a plan that falls under, and again, I, I don't, I'll start that no one knows what the Cadillac tax is. That's part of the, the Affordable Care Act that says for so-called high cost plans, it sets a threshold level. And for those that are above the threshold level, 40 percent, there'll be a 40 percent tax levied upon that amount that is above the threshold. So if the threshold says 30,000, it's a $32,000 plan, on that $2,000, there's a 40 percent tax. The risk is and has been, we expect that tax is going to come back and hit the taxpayer. So our goal was to prevent that. When we used the calculator that was supplied by um, you know, the, uh, the trust, I calculated different units, and again, that is not, based on the dates and our increases, there's a bunch of things and assumptions you need to make. These were big numbers. We have a lot of high-cost plans. We have a lot of employees. And those numbers climb very quickly. That's why it was so important for us to prevent the taxpayer from the risk of that. That's what our belief is. So now what we've done in the agreements is said, okay, if that Cadillac tax takes effect, and again, keep in mind those that we reached agreement on, we didn't know it got kicked down the road again. We thought it was 2018. Um, they're going to either move to a plan that falls below the threshold and therefore wouldn't activate the tax, or if they choose to stay on that plan, the individual will be responsible for any of that tax as we know it, it hits us, okay? That was our goal. Um, so uh, both the police units were the first to reach agreement on that with us. Um, and in addition, there are some other language in here, but, but basically that's what it does. It covers that issue. Um, there's a uniform language change, detectives, and only detectives, I think there's six of them. They're required to have both uniforms and plain clothes or suits available to them. Um, there was a request to give them an additional amount above, I think it's 750 currently, another 250 for them to be able to achieve having the suits and what have you. Made logical sense to us, so we agreed to that as well. Um, again, the next section deals with just language issues. Um, and then finally, the big two is duration. There was three years, and it was 3% COLA increase, no other changes, 333 over the three years. That is the overview of that tentative agreement. Before you are the calculations on the warrant articles of the exact cost of that over the three years. Be happy to answer any questions. And uh, you should note that uh, one of the provisos under the ACA language is that it's specifically stated that's the intent of the parties that this uh, language will, will be a permanent sure. part of the agreement. Mm -hmm. and, and in both cases, that's the case. It is, it is a permanent part unless it's negotiated differently in the future. And these have been ratified. By all, all these five have been ratified by the union, just men, and approved by the selectmen. Tim, then Jerry. I'm looking at the detailed pages on unnumbered page number three on the bottom. <clears throat> the last uh, full sentence or full line it says uh, less than 20 health care plans whose total premiums are below the ACA threshold or police. 
the you get the four police right uh, in the ACA there are two different groups so police and fire have a higher threshold as do retirees because they um, as they crafted it they see those as they are higher risk so therefore they're assuming that those plans are going to be higher cost because there's more injuries in police and fire than there are say in town workers so basically uh, Obamacare did some carve-outs within the Cadillac tax world. It has two different level thresholds currently, yes, sir. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. Chair? Yeah, why did, why, Chief, or oh, Chief. <laughs> uh, Jamie's fine. Jamie, yeah. Why, why did we feel it necessary to boost the payout for insurance as if, in fact, they don't take it? I mean, the only person that I see that wouldn't take insurance is the person that's under their wife's plan or maybe some other plan, but most of the people are going to stay, they have to, absolutely have to have insurance. So this is, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know what benefit we, we see by raising these two, three, and four thousand. I mean, I got to believe that if 10 people are taking it today, 10 people will take it tomorrow. I don't think anybody can change as a result of this. And, and I, I follow your same logic, and we had that discussion. Yeah. As you know, in every negotiation, there's a give and take. Mm -hmm. And currently, within the police units, I think there are only two members. We discussed that very thing of what incentive. But as you go through that, when it comes to finalizing language, they're very small dollars. We have two people. One's a single. One's a, a double. And I think the total cost of that currently, Jerry, is I think it was a, a, a three or $4,000 increase over what we currently pay. And as we went through the numbers, we looked and said, should that be a, a stopgap for us? There's still, we've seen plans that share percentages of that double number. I've seen some as high as $10,000 on the, on the other from other units and other discussions we've had. We felt, and I agree with you, it's a discussion we had. We still felt it's a reasonable number. I agree there's not necessarily any indication that someone else may take it, but one does it certainly pays for itself we see what well, we're seeing a lot to be honest with you is a lot of the new kids coming on who could take it they're still young they're young, and healthy, young you know but, but they stay because God. the ac on mom and dad's plan till 26. well yeah <laughs> and so we're seeing that already a change in public works an individual doing that in some other units that's so true they could I, be under yeah and you know what that incentive we have heard that it makes a difference you know if you're looking at you're a new employee, you're looking at the number there, that might make them jump to instead of, or, hey, I have my own, I don't have to hit my parents. We think, no, seriously, it's a, it's a reasonable discussion. God. In the end, we looked at it as, quite frankly, yes, I agree with your logic, but they were small dollars, and we didn't see that as a place to stop our negotiation because of it. Hmm. I mean, you would think that the reality of today's costs with respect to this would, would not have even prompted that kind of discussion. Again, I've seen those in other places where they give so much higher, Jerry, because they want to try and make it a true, I've seen 50-50. Tough decision. 50-50s, right. yeah. you know, and, they and make it a we didn't want to go there, so. But, I would uh, think anyone taking this option is saving us money. It, it is, no question. It absolutely pays for itself in every case. Yeah. Um, and as I understand that you're, the, the uh, Agreement is for 3%, 3%, 3%. That is correct. Over three years, correct. Three years. Every three, uh, well, over three years. 3% three percent three percent each, each year over year three years. Of the three years, <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, that's the only two questions I had. All right, Michael. Uh, yes, I'm having a little problem with the numbers there on these uh, two. Uh, when you add uh, 72 to 110, that comes up to about 182,000 that will cost you at the end of 16. And then when you add 114 to that, that's uh, even more. And then you add 26,000. Well, you, you just did two numbers that don't fit. So let's do two things, Mike, if I can. I think I know where you're going with it. Mm -hmm. So here's the way it works. Um, in the first, in 2016, Mm -hmm. The data that you're seeing, the 72, if you add up 72, 110, 114, and 26, it's the 323 and change. In the first year, what we're noticing folks of is the total amount that that in, because keep in mind, it, it's above the 2015 for that. It's 39 weeks in 2016. We're saying this is the amount it's going to cost you in 2016. It's only 39 weeks because it takes effect April 1. So that's why that number's there. Then in 2017, it's a full 52 weeks. That's mm -hmm. that 110 number you're looking at. Right. Okay. Then in 18, it's 114. Again, full 52 weeks. Mm -hmm. Then they expire on March 31st. So in mm -hmm. 19, the end of the third year, okay. it's 26,353. I got you. Okay. Across I have the no full period. I that. 
So I, I'm, did I miss the missed your question? Okay, my question is, at the very end of the warrant article, 323996, mm -hmm. that's only if you add up only the numbers mentioned, mentioned in the four lines above. That's correct. And the verbiage in there says over the 16 level, over the 17 level, over the 18 level. So in theory, the way it's worded, it should be 72 plus 110 equals the cost for 16, plus the, the, for, for 18 it'd be 72, 110 and 114 for the 18 cost. That's yeah. the way it's worded. No, I, well, I disagree with you. Well, it says over the le level before, Right, team. so what it's saying is the Warren article down here is saying in 2016, mm -hmm. we're going to increase over our current budget by 72,616. I got that. Okay. The next year in 17, it's going to increase an additional 110 over that number. So that number is, that's why you see on the, the right side, mm -hmm. over... The 50, you got 15 level, the next is over the 16 level, the next okay. is over seven. So, so we're noticing folks with each year that it increase. Right. So when you do the total cost of the 323, you're missing a whole bunch. I don't believe we are, not at all. If you add up all those three numbers, sir, no, you're, you're, you're getting only adding up the overages, you're not adding up the basic cost every year. What we're... I see his point. The additional cost. I do see his point. It's a discussion we had with uh, outside counsel of how to do it. The actual numbers, and I get exactly what you're saying. We've had this discussion. Mm -hmm. We've had this reviewed by counsel, by outside counsel, to be sure we're doing it appropriately. Mm -hmm. And what we're noticing here is in the past it had said over the 15 level. So what we're saying is each year, mm -hmm. notice it because the first year what we're asking folks to vote on is the 16 level. In the future, it's going to drop in, and it's saying the additional 110 over the 16 level. The 114 is over that next, that previous level. Each one, we're stacking them up is what we're doing in the language there. But it makes that last sentence. Incorrect. The additional cost of the agreement in salaries and benefits for the three years. Mm-hmm. The ad additional to what, I guess? Additional to the 2015 level? Right. Yeah. Yes. But, but the total, what's that saying is the total cost over the three years as calculated is 323996 But that's totally incorrect because you, to get the cost for 17, you're going to have to add 72 and 110. The community cost two point, that into that, into 17 will be 72 and 110. So 72 will drop into the budget. Yeah, and, then right. you're, and in six, you're absolutely right. That drops into the budget when 16 and it's approved. Mm -hmm. That 72 drops into the budget. So when we go to the next year, mm -hmm. there's an additional 110. And you're absolutely right above that, but that's already in the budget. The total additional cost is 110. That's what we're saying here. But that, I get what you're. I understand exactly what you're saying. The doesn't say the accumulative change every year. It says the total cost. The worry, the wording has got you stuck there. That's okay. what I think. And again, all I can tell you is I we've had this vetted, but we've had this vetted, signed. it's the yeah. same language. So. No, they didn't agree to this workout. This well, is the voters. This you're, you're interpreting it differently. No, the, the tentative agreements have, is not, this is not part of the tentative agreements. I'm saying that this is a warrant article they're asking the voters to, to uh, vote on, Sonny. It has nothing to do with what you're inferring. I'm looking back to previous years. Yep. It's been the accumulated amount every year. Actually, the math, that we went back and looked very closely at mm -hmm. that. The math isn't. The math is exactly the same. The wording is different. We did the wording to show exactly what the math is showing. You're absolutely right, Mike. It's, it's a long discussion we had. It is a back and forth that we did. We actually went out. Mark had us go out to outside council to review it, and they have indicated based on many other towns that do it an expert that they spoke to felt that this was an appropriate way as long as we're noticing them the language the way we're doing it and additional cost over each year that's what we're trying to convey but the bottom line of the article says the additional cost for three years is you've left out half of it so that's a misleading statement and, and I, I hear that, your that point that is factually incorrect I, I disagree I, our math disagrees Christy's taking a look at it I take your point. We'll go back and look again. But that's where we are. If you add it up the way we normally done it in the past, the cost of the taxpayer is going to be approaching somewhere in the neighborhood of eight hundred thousand dollars, rather than the three hundred, as you're saying. Again, 
finance gave us the numbers. We've consulted with outside folks. I can tell you, Mike, that that's the number we've come to. I get exactly what you're saying. We've had that discussion. I think we'll go back and do it again. But I, I we've had that discussion, and this was vetted by folks that say this is the way to notice it. No, no problem with that. But the Alton Bay thing, where you have to have it exposed, the true cost of taxpayers. This doesn't. This does not pass muster on that at all. So noted. <clears throat> What do you think, of, uh, Mr. Uh, Town Attorney? Mark, what do you think? This is uh, an area that uh, we, as, as Jamie said, I, I specifically requested that this go out to others outside who, who price this up all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually wasn't involved in the pricing in the prior year because that was Wanda on the team. I can't ask her. So anyway, this is, this is what the answer came back as. And then you can make that statement <coughs> at the end of the warrant for being incorrect like that? Well, additional cost is what that refers to and uh, outlined above are what the additional costs are each year. So what you're saying is it's a word game for the voters because we haven't had this problem before. Ever since we've been doing the Alton Bay, what, whatever that no, it's precisely following what it's been reviewed by DRA. It's been reviewed by outside counsel. DRA approved this format? Yeah, they did. Wow. I have to question about in DRA we trust anymore. I can't remove that from my little line, I guess, if they've approved it. Okay. Tim and then Nick. Um, <clears throat> Thank you, Mike. As I understand this discussion, we've got... I'm looking at it out of 14 as my example. We've got four years delineated as an increased cost over the prior year. Correct. And what the total cost refers to is adding up those four numbers. That is correct. <laughs> and it's purporting that those four numbers represent the entire cost of the agreement. That is my understanding. Yes. The additional cost over 15. The additional cost over, yes cost over year to year to be specific. It the doesn't additional say that. cost of the agreement and salaries and benefits for the three years. That's the total cost for the three year deal. Yes. But what I'm hearing is some would argue that it should be a running total as opposed to And again all I can tell you is we've had this discussion, we've well, gone to outside this, experts. It really needs to be looked at I, Christy. I think that you absolutely agree. Wanda's formula could be derived from looking at her Warren articles can easily see how the numbers were done there, and you could derive what formula she used. The math is done the same. Maybe math is exactly the same. Did you the derive same. the formula from a, from yeah, a Wanda Dunmore yeah. article? Yeah. You did? Math is the same. Okay. Well, you exactly how we've done it in the past. The language is different because we felt the way it said before wasn't an accurate reflection of what the numbers <laughs> represented, and that's what we went out to outside council to confirm, and they confirmed that our language and how we're doing it is accurate. Well, I have to be honest with you, Mike gave me this story on the phone earlier today, and I was like, a difference without a distinction in my mind. But as I'm looking at this, yes, we can have one-on-one -on -one phone calls, Mr. Bean, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> no, just to be recognized after this is done, pro proposing this. You want to ask me a question? Or? No, sir. Okay. Just the chair. Uh, but now, as I'm listening to him, I do, I do see the distinction. Yeah. Understood. And uh, just as an aside, while the formula may or may not be correct, it's certainly subject to question. Your arithmetic is wrong. Uh, for 14, anyway, that actually doesn't total up to uh, 996. It turns out to be 997. Excel rounds. Because there are, within the other number, there well, are some Well, the Warren article issues. is showing the rounded numbers should be added up as rounded numbers, so it should be 7. Arithmetically speaking, to be consistent. Or symmetrical, I prefer. I'll yield to Mr. Bean. Now, Nick with his hand up first. Uh, good evening, Jamie. Mine was just a quick clarification on Article 15. Um, 2018, the number kind of jumps to 37, whereas the year before was 14,199. Why the jump? Um, I, without looking at the spreadsheet <coughs> closer, I can't answer that. Christy? Uh, the jump, uh, I guess, would be people hit different steps. I don't know. Yeah. It's just something that's yeah, about no, me because no, I'm on with 14, you. it was kind of close, but that's a 
kind of like over double, so I didn't yep, know I'm if with there you. was I'll go back and look at that spreadsheet. Absolutely. It. That's all. If there's an amendment, we'll come see you tomorrow on it. Yeah, just for the next day, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. discuss this yeah. in public just to uh, have an explanation for that. That was all I had, Madam Chair. Thank, Thank you. you. Bill, did you want to speak to this? No, ma'am, I'll answer my own question. Thank you. Would you like to share that with us? Bob. I applaud your efforts surrounding the Affordable Care Act Cadillac tax. Was the same attention paid to cost sharing under the deductibles and co payments or oh. medical plans? Cost sharing and co pays. Um, there's always discussion. But uh, our plans, there's, there's um, I guess the short answer is no. Our plans have very set, there's a, a myriad of plans that they can choose that vary their deductibles based on how much they're going to pay and we're going to end up paying as well as what we offer. They've been on the, on the table for many, many years. We absolutely have discussion about that and one of the ways to deal with Cadillac tax is to look at those additional plans. Too. So as of this, we haven't made any changes to plans beyond what was done previously. Uh, we dealt with the Cadillac tax only. We absolutely have discussions about where we're going because everybody sees the cost going. <coughs> but we did not change any plans at this point in time. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Jerry? I have another question. If I'm going into the booth and going to vote, I would like to know how much of an increase is this three-year agreement going to be to my current, what I currently pay out? Like 15 is my baseline, okay? It's, it represents the total dollars that we're paying out for the folks in this particular article. After your three and a half years or whatever, three years and those 13 weeks, those increases are going to come up to a new sum. What, what is that new sum? How much of an increase in percentage over 15 is that new sum? Don't have that answer for you right now, Jerry. Uh, I would, I would, that would be a figure that I would be looking for if I was a voter. Because if you told me it was 15 or 20 percent, I would do a backflip. I mean, I don't know. As I sit here, neither do I. So, I mean, we, I want to know. I want to compare my current baseline to the total of this agreement when it's over with. See if I can live with the impact. That's my only point. I, I ran the numbers, you know, and it's, I don't have a percentage change, but it's 679,000. Yeah. And, otherwise, almost total, five, and, what, and if you divide total. it by the total, I don't know what our baseline is today. I don't know. So that's 679 if you add, as Mike was suggesting, the 110 to 72, the 114 to the 110 to the yeah, 72, take, the 20. Yeah. Yeah. If I take yep. 16, 70, yep. 18, and 19. That sounds, I, about, that I, sounds I, about what the math we were, we were understanding it to be as well. Yeah. So the additional cost, instead of 323996 would be a flat 679 even? Yeah, I'm not going to speak exactly to that without finance. seven is what I got. Just, oh, that's in round numbers. Just yeah. 29027. Yeah. Oh, Did you do the same yeah. thing on the next one? Because we're looking at both of them the same time. Yeah, with the problem. So, but Again. still, I'm, not, I'm looking for, how does that impact me? Right. Yeah. From a baseline <clears throat> point of view. From baseline to... You know, the baseline of where I am in 15 mm -hmm. to where I end up in, you know, uh, 13 weeks and 19. Yeah. What increased and how much of an increase was that with respect to my baseline? Right. Not I know. I need to know. Yeah, All I, right. I, Tim? You know, I was looking up uh, Mark mm -hmm. Sandbar, Sandbar and I think the Sandbar Sandbar for Municipal Association's website. I assume you would agree that this is applicable to this discussion. Um, it, de it depends. Each of these cases have a lot of different factors. Yeah. As I understand the Sanborn one, that involved a evergreen clause, which is a totally yeah. different kettle of fish. That was Alton. Alton was the evergreen clause. Well, the, the, the Sanborn, as I understand it, well, I got uh, it right here. sets forth the uh, more or less the principle, but how you apply it is another kettle of fish. The statutes, as they each of these cases quote that, simply say the cost item is submit, submitted to the legislative committee. Sanborn says you have to give the, war, the voters fair warning. Another one of the cases says you don't have to be exact, but you have to give a fair idea. And when you look at it, it that's why we go to outside counsel, because there are m multiple cases besides the one you're just talking about which, which apply this. And, and I've not found any of them that precisely say this is how you do it, because they each involve their own little factors. 
But common among all those would be a fair representation of the cost, basically, to the voter. That's, that's the uh, principle that Sanborn enunciates, but how you actually word an article, not much guidance. Okay. I well, the Sanborn case was a Supreme Court case. It upheld the validity of multi collective bargaining agreements, which comprehensively, comprehensively governs public employee governing or bargaining process. The statute provides that once an agreement is reached between employer okay. board and the union, the quote cost items close quote of the agreement of the agreement defined as quote any benefit arrives to the collective bargaining whose implementation requires an appropriation by the legislative body of the public employer with whom the negotiations are being conducted. Now, even though a prior, you know, like if you take uh, 20, uh, you keep saying the, the, these agreements say X amount over the prior year. That's, that's the, the, when we consulted with outside counsel. Right, I understand that. was that. the way they yeah. said, this is questions. the way to do it. The, the Sanborn case involved the validity or not of multi-year contracts at all. That was the case that says, yes, you can have multi-year contracts. Yeah, and it also said that it, it must, it, it, and it quotes the case. It seems okay. it, 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 and it's amazing. Actually, the, the definition you just read quotes the statute, again, for the definition of cost items. But again, in terms of how it plays out right. on paper. Quotes the statute, that's correct. Yeah, and again, it doesn't, I, I know, because I read it too. The, the problem is it doesn't tell you how to do it. It doesn't tell you how to warn them. No, it does, but it does say, and, and I think there's a key point, it does say, that it must be revealed to the legislative body, and in our case, being a town, the legislative body is town meeting, right? Sure. That means the voter. So it must be disclosed to the voter, effectively, anything that requires an appropriation. Right? Yeah, and that, that, okay, that's, so that's, then, the, then the issue is, well, what, does, what requires an appropriation? Yeah. And now, that, what, what Jamie was saying earlier was he's not including a running total because that will be in the budget. Right, and, and and the point is, is the budget itself requires an appropriation. The, the funny thing so, about the, the funny thing about it, if you think about it, is this article. Where the only thing that's actually appropriated in this article is the first year, actually the 2016 year. Right. Right. The rest comes in subsequent years. Uh, with actually, the appropriation is within the budget. It comes part Thank of the you. budget automatically. Yeah, but the budget itself is an appropriation. It is an appropriation, right. yes. So therefore, it's, a, it's the appropriation from the budget, and it's an appropriation from that new contractual year. That's why they need to be add, added together. Well, it, that, unfortunately, you don't find a case that tells you that. Well, I'm not looking for a case that tells me that. I'm just saying from what I've and seen again, yes. here. Unfortunately, it's not in, it's not in the statute, so you, so that's I, I don't want to argue the point. I'm just saying what I'm seeing here. I understand, yeah. And, and the result is that when, when this situation occurs and it's challenged in court, the people who suffer are the, are the, are the union members because their raise is denied because there was not a sufficient appropriation as a consequence of not having sufficient notice. So the risk of Mike's point being correct you're absolutely right. It's not on the taxpayer, but actually on the employee, the, the union employees. It's on both, actually, but you're absolutely right. Well, it's on us in because the sense of having to defend the case, happened. yeah. I just want to be hyper clear on something I indicated to your question before. The DRA has so far only approved the uh, Teamsters language, which is exactly the same mathematics and same language, but I just want to be clear. Because these were approved Monday, they're up there now. I misspoke on the total. So the two police, two fire at DRA now, but Teamsters has already been approved. So as I see it, Mike, as I see it, Mike, I think your, your point is well taken, unlike my earlier view of your point. You explained it better now than you did on the phone, by the way. But in any case, I don't see the risk being on the taxpayer. Well, he might be buying a pig and a poke. I mean, he might no, be buying no, no, something no, he no. thinks he's buying. No, no, no. If, 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 the, if it's challenged, if, if it's it loses, challenged, the, the raises will be denied to the employer because of the lack of disclosure to the voter. The voter will not be harmed. That's the point. Let me make... But, of course, it would have to be challenged to avoid that harm. Let me ask this very simple question. If we were to collect $323,996 to fund all that needs to be covered in this Warren article, would we run short? 
Absolutely. Sure would. You, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. because again, <laughs> but, but again, there what we're go. showing that's you is what the language is showing over the level, over the level, over the level. I mean, if that's the proof of the pudding, right? Yeah, there minus a dollar. That that would be my only problem with. Oh, thereabouts. There you go. <laughs> is that if we if we represent this and vote for this? What I can tell you is we we vetted all of this. We went to outside council who looked at it and felt that this was an appropriate way to go. We we went with that advice. You know, I don't know what to tell you other than that, man. I think we ought to make a motion. This is the one for an hour. I know. I, know. I just want to add one comment, if I may. What All right, one from you, one from Sonny. Please make them brief so we can take okay. this to a vote. I'm just saying, uh, Chief, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie Sullivan. Mr. Jamie Sullivan, I'm not used to that, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying here to the voters, if they go in and read it in the booth, 323.96, and we just figured out in reality it's really 660,274. To me, that's a total misrepresentation to the voters. So no. I cannot support this one outcome because it's faulty. Thank you. So noted. Sonny. Yeah. I've had negotiations with unions when I was in the corporate business. I think you did a great job. I mean, if we, if the unions were listening to this discussion, uh, I think uh, they'd open some issues for the next negotiation. So I think you did a great job. Yeah, I think what we're talking about here is the notice and the language no, having nothing understand. to do with the negotiation. It's how we're right. going to notice this, which is a separate issue from those discussions. Before we vote on this, Ken, is there a remedy to legally change this? Well, the, 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 the thing of it is, um, when the cost figure go, that the cost figure, as I understand it, can't be changed at the deliberative session. Cannot. <coughs> and we are past. The, hearing. Excuse me, one minute, Tim. We are past the window for changing Warren articles as of five o'clock last night. This is another one of those unfortunate situations where this Warren article, from what I can see, that now faces a jeopardy because it was written incorrectly. Well, that's, 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 that's our, not that's according to That's well, what you know the what? discussion here, again, we have gone through Your outside council. committee, if you can't DRA fund has this also with 323,000, I mean, Let's then. Make a motion to get on with it. Have we made a motion to, to, to look at these two yet? I can't remember. Oh, I would like to make a motion that we take Article 14. Um, Mr. Bean has his arm in the... Thank you, Madam here. Chair. Um, Assistant Town Manager, uh, Town Council. You've got one contract you say was vetted by DRA? Correct. The math you used to develop your costs going forward to the subsequent years in the vetted contract by DRA, is that the same math that you used for police and fire or the other two units? Same Art math. Article 16. May, I, may I just have the floor, please? Okay. Correct. Thank you. So we would have a reasonable suspicion that what lies in wait from GRA, they don't assess costs for one union differently than another, that their math will apply equally to your other two contracts that you have for review. That would be my belief. That's what I wanted to make my point earlier. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. <laughs> I have no reason to believe that DRA even added those numbers up. Because of the dollar. And oh, which contract no did DRA that? Did. Excuse me. Teamsters. Teamsters. The three-year deal for the Teamsters. So they have not Which done is exactly it. the same setup as this. And again, to point out, the math that you're looking at is precisely the same math that has been passed with other contracts here previously. The exact same way of calculating that over three-year deals. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> yep. I just, <clears throat> I got to say, as, as a voter going into the booth, I wouldn't be confused over this. You would or you would not? I would not. I, I, think it, I think it spells it out. I mean, what, what this is telling me by reading this is that in, in 2016, it's going to be $72,616 over the 2015 level. Well, we know then that that is into the next year's budget already. Mm -hmm. And then the increase is going to represent $110,583. And if I follow that logic reading, I'm going to know that that 110 drops in automatically, and now we're going to add 114,445. 
I don't see the confusion on this. I will agree with you that if I take those lines, <clears throat> I'm not confused. Where the confusion comes in, and this was on the insistence of voters in the past, that the total be given, the total is incorrect. So no, if we could, if that last line didn't exist or could be amended, I have absolutely no problem. But from what I'm hearing, it's not different. I, I mean, I, I think the assistant town manager is telling us that they're using the same math that they used in previous years. Yes, totally. And the same statement. Am I am I correct? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I said the town manager, <clears throat> assistant town manager, appears to be telling us that the same math has been used in previous years to reflect how much is being used each year and the collective number on the bottom. But so you're telling me that in last year's, or on the last uh, CBA that you put together, <coughs> it was the same formula you? Um, I'm just checking with the finance director who did the math. And, and I'll have to tell you that I can't answer that right now. Okay. We have to go back and confirm that. Okay. okay. If, 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 you, if, if it is my belief that that's the case, I we have to go so. back. If, okay. if you want. And I've the asked if we only collected three hundred and twenty-three thousand and the rest of it, could we fund all the conditions of this? And well, the answer has been no. I understand that, so, but I, I think I, I think we're dealing in semantics a little bit. If, well, if, if you know that the seventy-two thousand from one year is into the budget for the next year. I, I understand, Jim. I'm going. I, you've got me on the top part. Well, no, but it deals with the bottom part yeah, also. Yeah, but that's where there's a disconnect because you, that three twenty-three will not fund all the terms that are written out on, on top. Matt, Madam Chair, I think the selectmen could, by the date of the deadline for them to post the warrant mm -hmm. for the deliberative session, <coughs> could change the explanation to say the total of the above. Cost <coughs> is blank. The three twenty three nine ninety six is what? The, they could say the total of the above costs is three twenty three nine ninety six. So you're saying they can amend it? They can. They can amend it. They can. Can that be done by tomorrow night? Uh, not without a meeting, but uh, huh? Well, I suggest they have a meet. I, I move. Can't notice a meeting in time. For that right you know I was looking at uh, article 12 of 2014 how that article was written for uh, a wage increase for the teamsters yeah. and they took everything right. this was for uh, these were for 14 15 and 16 and they took everything with with respect to 13 the first two years were taken with respect to 13 and the third year with respect to 15 and the grand total was and the grand total was right in here per RSA 273A, the total additional cost of the agreement for salaries and benefits over the 213 budget level for two years was 56,785. So, so do the, the math on those first two, Jerry. What is that? What does the first two math show up? Does it add to the 56 or a different? Uh, the, the 2014 for 39 weeks was 15,839. Yep. For 2015, it was 32,030. So that's 56. 56. So it was noticed exactly as this. And agreed. for 2016, it was again for 13 weeks for 8,917. So it was done just so like that. Total, just like this. The total, yeah. the total yeah. cost was 56,785. So it's so just like this. Just like this. Do we have your total cost showing? I'm ready I guess you do down here. But I, I agree with what you're saying, Mike. You need your whole role. Is everybody ready to vote? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All those in favor? Okay, we've got Phil, Dick, Scott, Jim. Sonny. I'm sorry, Sonny. And Bob. Nose. Nose again. Pam. All right, I got Mike, Brian, Jerry, and Mike. Four. And very rarely do this, but I'm going to abstain. Tim? I am joining you, Madam Chair. Two abstentions. So it passes by 642. So moving on to the Teamsters, Madam Chair. Yes, sir. Uh, the Teamsters. 
there were a couple of issues we went through. The first dealing with the recognition clause over a period of time. There were some positions that were originally in the union's uh, bargaining uh, agreement and were included that over some time came out and no one could identify the reasons why in order to legally do that there's a process that has to happen and didn't. So what we did is recognize basically their original group um, so that we're compliant. But what we're going to do is some of those unions are currently not covered by the union. Over time, for some reason, and no one can explain why they came out. So what we're going to do is appropriately recognize those in the future. As those positions come open, we'll repost them as union positions. No real change in anything else. Um, there was some language change in their disciplinary procedure. The disciplinary procedure is... Uh, just a couple of things language-wise they were concerned with. We made some adjustments we felt were reasonable. Um, bereavement leave, this is a section that actually surprised all of us as we talked about it. Um, we added son and daughter-in-law, which were not part of bereavement leave. If you should have your son or daughter-in-law pass away, you can have a one day off bereavement. We have you know mother and father-in-law, but not son and daughter. We thought it was a reasonable thing. Um, section four deals with um, really a reimbursement issue, an issue for folks who, they're, again, a Teamsters is a group that represents a wide variety of employees, some in the police department, town hall, some in public works, so there's quite a group of folks here. This deals with the folks in public works who um, get stuck in or get called in or, I'm sorry, who are held in for emergencies. And their issue that brought up the table was, hey, if we're in um, and we're in for our normal eight hour day, our meal is on us. If we get held in over four hours over our, you know, for a snow emergency, for an emergency, we don't have the ability to pack another lunch or do anything like that. They were looking for uh, a reimbursement following what we do with if you, you're on a meal out of town. We looked at the numbers. They're relatively small as it stands right now. Most often the director provides something. There's food. So we've added language that one of two things will happen. There'll be food provided, or if not, we'll follow that meal reimbursement that we do if you're out of town on training. Again, relatively small dollars the number of times that occurs. Uh, health insurance change was exactly as we did with the police, um, both in the opt-out provisions as well as in the um, Cadillac tax language. Same intent dealing with those folks. Um, their wage differential now is uh, two and a half, three and three. And I'll say the reason for that is there are a couple of adjustments in their salary schedule that were substantially underpaid compared to their peer groups upon research. Um, a couple of them is the police dispatchers, um, a couple of the secretary positions. So those wages were adjusted. And in addition, um, there are the Board of Selectmen has approved uh, the creation, or I should say the reclassification of two positions at a different wage rate. That is, uh, to take a secretary in the building department, make them an operations person, um, and in the public works department, to create a general foreman from the foreman position. That foreman position currently... Um, there's a, several spots. It's moved to a general foreman who can oversee numerous areas. Those come with wage changes. If that's approved, those folks will move to those. Um, it's a three-year deal, two and a half, three, three. That's essentially that contract now. The costing you see in front of you, same discussion that we've gone through. It's priced precisely the same way. Again, for reiteration, uh, DRA has, in fact, seen this language and has approved this language. Has seen this one. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll move Article 16. I'll second it. Any discussion? Yeah. No? I think, I think both these articles are in trouble. I think police and, and uh, the teams, there's uh, three, three, and three, and two and a half, three, and three. The CPI is less than one for 2015, 2015. And with the average pay increase in the United States is about 2% for the year. Two and a half, three and three, and three, three and three are gonna run into trouble, I believe. And I'll point out some of the discussion I heard here when the teachers came in. Some of those teachers on average are making four and a quarter for that Cadillac tax division stuff. So um, we felt based on the discussions, these were reasonable numbers. The teachers are in a step. A step, so a grid step, folks. been in place for 10, 15 years. A grid step of 3.75. They got a 0.5 percent increase over that, so for a total of four, that was made publicly transparent. And the old, for those teachers yep. over the top end, they got 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75. If they're at the top end or over, majority so, were 1.7. Yeah. 
Uh, so, and the more two thirds of them are over, at the top end are over. <laughs> so there it is. Yes. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, to discuss on that point of uh, the cost of living increase, uh, real estate costs in this uh, area uh, far exceed the national increases. Uh, they're going up four or five percent a year. Daycare, uh, the uh, the price to. Um, uh, do everything in this town. Far exceeds uh, the CPI. I wanted to disabuse uh, both the public, uh, this body, uh, and those that would be opposed to giving uh, success to these uh, ratified agreements. That uh, that's a notion that has any merit because I don't know who's making numbers up about the cola. Uh, there's been some disbelief about what DRA is capable of doing tonight, and I would assert that uh, the cost of living in Hampton. Uh, far exceeds by three, four, five hundred percent uh, the number that Mr. Zanoy just brought out. Uh, these <coughs> contracts are in line with that. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'd like to add just one thing to what Mr. Bean has said. Um, we realize that there are some incomes in Hampton that do exceed and that the cost of living is out there. However, this is the first time in a very long time that seniors and the disabled and anybody on Social Security is seeing a big goose egg zero. for an increase. Yep. Absolutely zero. So I hear what everybody is saying. We live day to day, all of us, on the increases that come and go. But those most burdened with costs and those who are on fixed livings and have no ability to many times enhance their living are seeing absolutely no increase whatsoever this year so and I would add back that one of the points in our discussions here is the six years that our employees went with nothing mm -hmm. zero so we believe that at this time as wages during that period of time stayed there were both of these unions gave concessions on the health care in their last contract negotiation and in this one we believe that's a value <clears throat> to the community we believe it has value so we represented that six years without a pay raise is still a reality to these employees who still are here working hard doing a great job every day for this community as well we believe you look at it over that long period and i'm sure there's going to be more discussion on this to come but absolutely felt these are reasonable numbers some of these people and, and you're right jamie i mean for those of us who sat here and not all of you did during those years they were painful trying to put these contracts through and having them turned down year after year after year after year. And yet, we have already put through some pieces of the budget where people are asking for 10% in one year as a catch up. <coughs> so it's difficult, it seems like you never do catch up. Some adjustments do have to be made. I just worry about it in a year when I, when I say that a portion of our population out there is seeing nothing. Um, you know, and, and again, I, we're going to have longer discussions on these issues. What I will say is, again, keep in mind the concessions that were gained through this, that if that takes effect and you don't have those protections in the future, if that keep in mind that there's a lot going on here than just a number. Don't get locked in on one thing. Mm -hmm. We believe these are reasonable numbers. What's the value of what we're, we're, we're asking our employees to concede? We did. They did. Uh, we think that these are reasonable numbers. Yeah. All right. Quick comments and then a vote. Yeah. <clears throat> Just a quick comment. I'm on Medicare, obviously. And the CPI, the way the, the Congress wants it figured, you end up with a 0%. For example, but Part D, the, the Rx, the prescription, the way the law reads, the government can't, Medicare can't negotiate the price of drugs, so even though my Medicare, did, the premium for the insurance didn't go up, the, health, the prescription drug <laughs> cost went up 25%, all right? So if you don't like what's happening, you, you've got an election coming up, and I can suggest how you can vote. Thanks. <laughs> Michael? Um, yeah, I was looking, this, this has the same problem with the, you know, you wouldn't be able to finance this thing as per the total there on that bottom line. Same problem as we had on the other two contracts, and I'm not going to discuss that because we beat that to death. But you said adjustments in some of these uh, reclassifications of some of the employees. Yes, sir. What was 
what was the highest wage increase for some of those? Or just give us a couple of examples. Sure. Going from the lowest to the highest. Um, let's see, off the top of my head, I don't have it right in front of me. I, I think want to there were some six percenters on there. Um, no, I don't think, well, again, I have to go back and look to be sure. I want to say that the secretaries went from um, like 14 and change to 16, what we're paying our part-time non-union secretaries. That's the wage change there. Um, for the, um, I think the highest you'll find is the change in the general foreman's position. Right. And I want to say, again, I, I'm going to pull the number. I want to say that first year it's like twenty twenty five hundred dollars give or take is the raise for that first year moving to that additional position. But those I think are the high and the low of the changes. So in this contract versus the others, there's a lot more of this adjustment, as you call it. As I said, there were for personnel than there is in the fire and police. Yes. Yes. This by far. And I was trying to weed my way through it, and it's kind of difficult if you're not directly involved like you were to sort of follow that. But I got the impression, okay, the impression, that there were some significant increases in the pay because of this reclassification or whatever you call it. Yeah, and as I indicated, there were several positions that their pay was adjusted because they were well below their peer group. Those were adjusted. They're still on the low end for the peer group. But on the other two reclassifications, yes, there's a change in duties and a change in um, if it passes in, in those wages as well. No, and I have one other remark, and that's how I feel about the two and a half, three, three. Um, I can honestly say as a good paying taxpayer, and I paid taxes last year on two houses because I was in the process of moving, that was pretty steep. And because my pension, which is flat, doesn't get any COLAs, and everybody knows what they did for Social Security. So the more you pay uh, in taxes, the less you get to spend on groceries, that's for sure. And like somebody else said, even the, medic uh, the prescriptions are going up. I mean, what I, I can remember about oh, six or eight years ago, a very prominent person in Hampton said, well, if you can't afford Hampton, move out. That's what they said to the, me complaining about the cost of stuff going up. And I really don't want to move, but I think that uh, there was a lady up the street on my ex, where I lived before, at Heb on Heaven Avenue, she, at the end of the street, she said she couldn't afford the taxes, so she's moving. She didn't want to move, but she's moving. Um, I don't know where else she could move in New Hampshire, but I, another thing that bothers me along the same line, we're talking about the increased cost for employees if they live in Hampton. That's a qualifier because we have quite a few people that don't live in Hampton. I mean, I can think of several in management and quite a few employees that are involved with these contracts don't live in Hampton at all. They live in another community because the real estate prices are lower. So. Okay. Bob, and then Tim. Uh, one thing you said really impressed me. If you ask your help to go for six years without any raise, at some point the community owes its help and some kind of revision to the mean. If you take the 3% and subtract either, say, 12% for the six years they didn't get a 2% raise, it's a net 9% gain for the community. That's a pretty good trade mathematically. Good point. Tim? I didn't get the point, but okay. Take it over your head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or under somewhere. I'm not sure which. I would okay. suggest that this conversation is one that's widely going to go on the floor and in town to March. People have ideas of what they're doing. Again, I would just focus on this was what the board and our direction was. Keep in mind the value to the future if that Cadillac tax hits. This protects the future of those ever-increasing numbers, and that's a value that folks need to pay attention to as well. So we felt it was a reasonable resolution, and that's what we will, we will continue to tell the public. I appreciate the negotiation work, Chief. I did. Um, and I'm kind of hung up on the numbers we were dealing with earlier. So I had to go back in time and more on article history here. And I'm looking at 2012, when you were selected, Mr. Pierce, and there was no total in these uh, union contracts at all back then. No total? No. Well, they. In fact, that all it refers to is the first year's cost in terms of it does list the first year, the second year, et cetera. 
But it says, and to further raise and appropriate the sum of the first year's cost. It doesn't even talk about appropriating subsequent years. And I'm wondering, you know, you know, why we might have changed that template, if anyone knows, to because I think the problem is actually in the total appropriation. I think that's where we're at right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think you'd have how you represent that. Going the yep. other and I way. said, it as I today. say, that could, uh, in light of the discussion, that selectman could change the wording of that. And when would they do? Would that? you anticipate some consultation taking place along those lines? Uh, that's very possible. <laughs> okay. Uh, and and would we then subsequently have a chance to vote on any subsequent modification as a board, as a committee? Well, it it. Uh, Final review. Well, you, you've you taken votes before at the deliberative session, haven't you? We can at the yes. end of the deliberative session. So. I can't, I really can't, like, support it because of that confusion, and I can't really oppose it either because there's not a risk on the taxpayer, which is why I abstain, but I don't particularly like abstaining on it. So uh, thank you for that additional information. To further support my abstentions. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Chairman, I'd like to make a comment about what Mr. Ladd said about them going six years without a contract. That's very true. And I happened to be there on the board of selectmen when they finally come to terms. And those contracts they agreed to, after six years of drought, there was adjustments made for that consideration, the fact that, that they were out of contracts for six years. They were generous of that department. It was step the, the, consideration, wasn't it? No, it's, it's with any settled contract that, that when you settle, people go on to the steps that, that, that in the they status quo they don't move forward right. by law they have to move to their appropriate steps when it happens it wasn't a concession it's a reality they would have to move so I mean a part of that agreement was covered mm -hmm. them pretty well considering that they never got anything passed for the six years that wasn't the selectmen's fault that didn't pass that was the voters voted the no, agreements no, I'm that not were saying whose fault was I mean, I'm, I don't think you can label it. I think the voters looked at it and they said no. Yeah. It didn't get steps for six years, which was another I think vote. we're at a point that we know it's on the table and it's time to take a vote right, on it. It's just All those in favor. All right, Phil, Nick, Scott, Jim, Brian, Sonny, again over in the corner. Bob, those opposed... Michael, Michael, and Jerry, and abstentions. I'm a strong here. Yeah. <laughs> if that could be remedied, I could be. I could, I could be change far my if vote. The wording was you know, so noted. Correct. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, man. Did you get the numbers on that, Madam Chairman? Yeah. Seven two. Two three two. So we're all done about a five minute break. Two, two, are we all done with the Warren Articles, Sam? We are done Oops, with the Warren Articles. Um, I'd like okay. to take a, a, a precise ten minute break oh, wow. and then come back. Okay. Sounds good to me. I need to go to the back. Should we have one of those hours left? All right, well, here's one other. Uh, pass uh, these down this side. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Come on, hey, pass these down. Pick up thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. All right. Sonny, you have a motion that you wanted to. Gentlemen, settle down. Okay, we're starting. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what I'd like to do is ask for reconsideration on the sewer bond because there's so many problems in the town, I think. We're cutting our nose with despite our face if, if we don't go for it. Oh, that's a one article. Yeah, yeah. that was a two million dollar bond. All right, so. It failed. Huh? It failed, right? I mean, we didn't. It did. It, it failed, yeah. but Sonny feels he wants to make a motion to reconsider. Do I have Madam a second? Chair, point of second. order. Yes. Don't, in order to make a motion for reconsideration, don't you have to be in the majority of the original vote? Uh, Only if you're under operating rules and the rules of order. Well, we operate we by. We operate by. You do. We operate under that rule, don't we? No, you haven't adopted it. <laughs> we have adopted that specific rule, not the entire book of Robert's rules. Or I agree voting. with that. So, I I would say the subject is closed. Do I see a second on it anyway? I would have second. You would have second it. He's in the majority. He wasn't in the majority either. Yeah. What was the majority? No, I'm going to have to. Those who voted no. no. We voted no. So it would have to be what was somebody. The vote? Seven to seven. It was. Seven to seven? Yeah. Yeah. 
It was close, but you would have to six, be six seven one, I believe. So. Wasn't there a wasn't there a vote earlier tonight for reconsideration that was not a part of the majority as well earlier this evening? Nope, they failed. They failed. But the motion was still taken. What Second, motion was that? For the uh, fire alarm secretary. It, it didn't go beyond me trying well, to right, make a motion. The vote, didn't it, it, the vote was taken. The vote was taken. Yeah. Well, that vote was out of order. M Madam Chair, I move that we uh, null and void that vote. I just think it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it's good for the goose, I would say it's good for the gander in this case. Uh, well, we can vote on it and null and void it. You can't cafeteria. I understand, but the vote took place. Okay, you want to take the vote on whether we should reconsider? Is that what you're saying? I think I think if the early one was given consideration at least for a no, vote. No, because then this will be the earlier one was actually we should nullify both because tomorrow night is how we will reconsider this. Well, that's just and a this is how I we do it at, at so using the that early a vote I will nullify. All right, and I will not accept this one. Using the same rule tomorrow night. Please. Well it's the rule we use tomorrow night all the time, so that's nothing new. That is how you're gonna nullify the every early public one. hearing okay. goes at the end. All right. Point Thank of, you for reminding me of that. Point of order, Madam Chairman, yes, on sir. the rule. If it's a tie vote, it fails. But how do you say there's a majority if it's a seven to seven vote? Because the vote failed. But it wasn't a majority, it, there was not a majority in favor. It doesn't or stay opposed. in limbo, it fails. I think what Bob's asking is who would constitute the majority to justify asking for reconsideration in the case of a tie vote? Is that correct, Bob? That is correct. No, this right. discussion can be at the deliberative session. It's a question about oh, rules. Right. Yeah, it's a question <clears throat> about rules. But it, you don't sit in limbo, Bob. You, you, it fails. So by virtue of the fact that it fails, only a vote to the positive, if it had been positive, would have been able to open it. Well, I'm having trouble with the It's not like it sits there in no low. It there was no majority. Right. But you created artificially a majority because the vote was a tie. No, you don't. When yeah, well, that's why I asked for reconsideration. What ends up happening is if you have a tie, then the motion is defeated. It fails. I so by virtue yeah. of the fact that it fails, you don't, like I said, you don't sit in the middle. But who's the majority? If it's a tie vote, the minority and the majority mathematically. Madam Chair, move on. Madam Chair I think I can fix this. Yeah, I want to move on. Let's move on. Well, in case Great. we run into the situation, huh? in case we run into the situation, it'd be good to fix it in advance. Uh, I really want to get the budget. Let's move on. I'm moving on. Okay. okay. Enough said about this. One. All right. Last night we wrapped up. The end of fire. Mm. We're in uh, DPW right now, I think. So we are in building and code inspection. Hmm? What, what, where, where, where are you on this again? Building and code inspection? Uh, mm -hmm. Public works? No, oh. code inspection. Hmm? I, know, I know what it is. Yeah. These are extras we don't use. What about the other? Did they get it? Hmm? Yeah, they've all got it. Oh, they got it. All right. Okay. All right. The last change we made was to the fire department. We had a total of 3,398,841 under total fire. The next section was building and code inspection. Were there any changes to this section? No? Okay. I, re I reviewed it carefully and uh, don't find any items of significance that I would stand up and argue to. Okay. I think we can go quickly through some of these sections. So the total building and code inspection, can I have a motion um, to accept the $217,047? Second. Jerry? Yeah. And a second? I'll second. Scott? Vote? All those in favor of accepting that amount? No change. No change. Okay. It's unanimous. Um, yeah, 20. Unanimous. 217, 661. 
217047. Uh, what is the next? Oh, we okay, the next one is emergency management. Motion on that one for the total. Somebody? Michael, thank you. You're welcome. What was that? $4,000 total. Second. Nick? 047. Okay, vote on that one. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You hand up? Okay. Mr. Bean? Mr. Bean's up as well. Thank you. I can't see you from you, here. All right, and then um, the next one is uh, other safety services. Motion four hundred ninety-four thousand two hundred ninety-nine dollars. Second. Second. All those in favor? Mr. Bean and I are in the affirmative. Okay. Otherwise Citizen. known as yes. Okay. All right, so Christy, are you with us for a grand total now under public safety with all the changes? Thank you. So far, whatever. I haven't populated the budget committee column as I expressed in my email earlier, so I don't have. What you had sent out, uh, I'm populating it and, and we're in agreement. Okay. Good. Do you have the new change for the bottom line on public safety total? Yes, ma'am. Eight million O ninety one six twenty five. Thank you. Madam Chair, I don't believe we passed the fire department yet, have we? Yes. We have. Building and code inspection. Building and code inspection was separate. All right, <clears throat> now moving on down to DPW. And going down to the total for highways and streets. I'll move that. You'll move the one, the four, um, one million four hundred ninety-one thousand eight hundred eighty-four, Mike. Uh, yes. A second yes. for discussion. I'll second. <coughs> All right. Discussion on this section only. Administration. Hmm? Administration. Administration, okay. Yeah. Stormwater requirements. Second to the last. Mm -hmm. Second to the last line item. Okay. It's ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. We spent fifty six hundred and fifty three in two thousand and fourteen. Nothing in fifteen. Spent 4,043 in 2013. 0 and 12 and 0 and 11. He's asking for 10. And I recommend because history says we don't spend money in this account. I know the road to heaven is paid with good intentions, but based on the history of spending and our historical intentions, I I would recommend that we reduce this to five thousand dollars from ten. Uh, uh, you gonna make a motion to that? I'm making a motion. Okay, I'll second. No. Yeah, that's true. Sure. If you guys refer to page thirty-seven in your books, it tells you that uh, let's see on that line, the U.S. EPA is issuing orders to comply with Stormwater Act. First section released in August of 2015, and I believe that's why that line was increased to $10,000. I've heard this for four years. Oh. I have heard it for four years. Can we get Chris to give us oh. I, I, This is the same song, the same Can tune, Chris the same melody. The DPW director. I don't want to do that. All right. Any other discussion on this? All right. You know what? I, I would like to say one other thing. What I have heard is this. We've got to go and identify our drains. We've got to go and mark them. We've got to go and clean them out. We've got to go take test samples. There's a lot of work to do here. And we're going to get this, this EPA handed to us here pretty soon, so it's going to really make us commit to this. And yet, one, two, three, four, five years, and the historical average is half of what he's asking. So I, that's why I made the recommendation. And motion. Madam Chair, it is true. I've been, this is my third season here, and every year I have heard the same EPA is going to put a mandate on us. And every year when we ask 
well, what about what you said last year? And they said, well, it's almost sure to happen next year. And then it doesn't happen. So I guess if we were able to ask this year, we would probably hear that it's even more sure to hear than it was last year. <laughs> but, gee, if it really does happen, you know, we can find the money elsewhere. In the meantime, there's no reason to budget for something that we expect might happen. Or even, I mean, it's something that's been failed in this prediction for... Jerry says four years. From my own experience, it's been three years in a row. Yeah. I mean, how long do we do this? Uh, what's your motion, Jerry? I motion a reduction of five thousand dollars so the article, so that the line item has now five thousand in it instead of ten. So you're basically aligning it with his. It, I'm aligning it with historical spending, regardless of historical intentions, or with this, with historical intentions in mind. <laughs> and you looked at how many years when you? Five looked? years: 11, 12, 13, 14, and fifteen. And uh, how many years were zero spent in that area? Two. Two, three. two of those years. Three out of the Three five. of those years was zero? Zero. I have $37,000 a day, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'm hearing some background over there, Madam Chair. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I said the fines are $37,000 a day, and they are going to issue that. I believe they already issued it. We're just waiting to receive it. It does. The fines would take place, of course, if we so didn't do the work, have, not whether we funded it or not. Yeah, you would have $5,000 at least to work with it or start the work going with it. Anyway, and, that's, that's I'm, I'm lost. <coughs> You're saying that fines have, that we've already been issued a notice? Oh, they're about to, they, they have finalized the regulations. That's what's been holding us up for two and a half years. Yeah. Fines under the regulations are $37,500 a day for failing to perform the requirements of the regulations. Okay. That includes testing every outfall from every culvert in town. Anything that's found to be in violation of the regulation, then we have to take the outfall apart and figure out where those problems are, and we have to correct them at the town's expense. That's more than five grand. You do that with one manhole. I, in fact, I can think of the manhole. Mm -hmm. I could take you right to it on one, one street because all the neighbors in that neighborhood duck put all their, their dogs' droppings in that manhole. Maybe they should be fined. So then you We don't have the power to do that. Madam Chair, it sounds like Fred's saying 5000 isn't enough to do the work that uh, EPA is in, about to impose on us but has not yet quite done so. So maybe we need to put more, more money in, Fred? Oh, I think probably I'd ask the public works director who's sitting right here. Maybe he ought to come to the table. No, this is our this is our session. Can we vote? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, but can we do it so knowledgeably? That's the real question. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Okay. All those in favor of this motion to Wait, reduce this re to reduce, reduce it, this uh, line by five thousand dollars to five thousand dollars. <coughs> okay. Two? Fail. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next one, Jerry. Okay, yeah. The uh, engineering requirements, 40,000. Year to date annualized. Wait a minute. Let me go back. I took it that everybody else had to know. Was there any abstentions in that? That was me. You have an abstention. Okay. Engineering re Sorry. I go, uh, I can yeah, I'm sorry. Engineering, uh, engineering request forty thousand, which was a zero percent increase. Year to date annualized was eighty four sixty eight from November. Previous four years average fourteen thousand uh, dollars. No, thirty three thousand. Four, four years average thirty three thousand. Recommend thirty thousand. Cut ten. Do I have a second for that? Sure. Same arguments, why don't we just vote? Any discussion on that? Okay. All those in favor of the motion to cut 10000 from engineering services? Okay. Okay, I have two. And opposed? And abstentions? No abstentions this time? Mr. Dean was opposed as well. Okay. okay. So that bottom line of total highway and streets for one million four hundred ninety-one thousand eight hundred and eighty-four. Sure. 
Okay. Scott, second. Mike, yes. all those in favor? Opposed? Michael and Jerry, abstentions. Mr. Bean and I voted in the affirmative. Then raise your hand. I did. Thank you. I didn't see me. Well, she couldn't see Mr. Bean. She said so many times. Well, I'm sorry, but he's sitting on the floor and I'm the shot I'm person. Out, Jerry. All right, moving down to. Cleaning and maintenance. Mm -hmm. No, paving total, reconstruction. Paving reconstruction. total paving and reconstruction. I move $453,069. Second. Wait a minute, 400 what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Paving and reconstruction. 437,869 is what I have. That's what I have. I'm looking on something all done. 453,069. Eight, six, Wait a minute. That's, that's below snow removal. He jumped down quite a, quite a ways. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Forty-three twelve. Oh. Right. Forty-three twelve. Is four thirty-seven eight sixty-nine. Is that what you said? I said four five three zero six nine. I've got uh, on the spreadsheet that Christy said unless there's an adjustment subsequently. I have four three seven eight six nine. Eight six nine. That's what I have. Four three seven. Where, where is that? Christy, what is the number for paving? I have four hundred and fifty three thousand sixty nine dollars, and the difference there is the adjustment that you guys made on Friday night on line number zero two six four three one two two four four one zero for hired equipment summer. Correct. Yeah. Oh, that's that five thousand dollar difference for yeah. extra. Yeah. It was fifteen thousand. Yeah. $200, I believe, that was added to that line. Yes. 5200 bucks. $15,200 was added to that line item. Thank you, Christy. You're very helpful. So that was 453. 069. 069. Correct. All right, let's take that section now. And my question right off the top would be looking at that contract for 15-2. Where is it? The other five thousand. What is that? Because this was supposed to be for beach raking. So what other equipment are we? Oh yeah, that's the fifteen plus. Yeah, for so that five, other five thousand. Uh, I'd have to look in my budget book to see if there was any rationale there. I had equipment sum of five thousand dollars. Renting equipment not available within DPW. Lodge because back. I've got a Christy furnished me with a copy of the contract, and it has a list of the equipment being used for the beach raking. For the beach, but it also says the original correct line item right. said the renting of equipment not available within DPW. In it, i.e. Large backhoe, low beds, dozers, so they, they hire equipment to move stuff or... But part of their contract has equipment in it. Right. That's just... Right. So that is part of their contract, and I'm just wondering, between that and what we do have at DPW, why we're spending $5,000 more on in that... But we don't, we don't have a large backhoe like a track backhoe, other than that mini one. We don't have a low bed. They bought a, a new rubber tire loader a year or so ago. They had to send that back to, to Skowhegan, Maine twice, one year. They mm -hmm. hired a low bed to send it up there and bring it back. Yeah, I think that was a specific case that the department had mentioned when he came up here and justified that equipment. line as well. Yeah. I had equipment. Correct. For, for this, for the things that it are covered is, it, under that contract, correct? Not for that no. contract, That's separate mm -hmm. to that contract. The 5000 has been in the budget, I believe, in past years. Well, right. in past years, but... Right, and the beach raking is a completely separate, brand new, new type the, of initiative. brand new contract because right. the state used to do the beach raking. I know. They and stop. I understand there's a, the equipment, I think, that is referred to in the contract that you have is specific used by that contractor to do the beach raking, whereas the other 5,000 yeah. is right in line with what Mr. Pluff is explaining for a completely separate operations at DPW. Right. Okay. Correct. Yeah. You're it's, satisfied it's, it's, with that, Michael? It's separate. Yeah. All right, then I'm satisfied with it. 
Okay. I guess that satisfies me. I have a comment on tree maintenance. Uh, okay. I can find it here. Where was I? That was right under cleaning and maintenance, not too far down in the section. So halfway down page 38. Yeah, I know. Page 38, yeah. Yeah, it's... Free maintenance. 431. They're asking 25000 Mm-hmm. The 015 budget was all tw was twenty five thousand, and, and year to date annualized, they spent sixty eight forty five. The last four years, they've averaged eleven thousand two oh four. My recommendation, and I would like to make a motion to cut five thousand out of here. Okay. Another example of the road to heaven paved with good intentions. Ah, uh, second time. We up for discussion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, from my recollection notes, I recall that the department head said he already has, but like, bids out to go do work. He's already got trees planned to cut. <clears throat> Tends to hit the ground running once this thing starts going. He seemed very passionate about making sure that the money that's set aside for tree maintenance gets used for tree maintenance. This does not get put behind us again. I would uh, not be in favor of the motion that's on the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Anyone else? Okay, vote on this one. All those in favor yep. of the motion? Okay, so that would be Jerry, Eileen, Mike, and Brian. All those opposed? And Tim. Mr. And opposed? opposed. Mr. Bean? And He's abstain. Opposed. You're opposed? Yeah, I opposed. Okay. You. And was any, did anybody Fail. abstain? Fa failed. Yeah, fails. Failed. Five to seven. <coughs> Madam Chair. I believe sidewalks are next. Yeah. I have a comment on sidewalks. Yes. Yeah, well, so I have I. a motion on sidewalks. You want to make a motion then? Yeah. Or, or as you recall, well, we discussed the uh, Warren article, that which is on sidewalks, and I was not in favor of that Warren article until certain members of this body told me that they would be in favor of removing sidewalks, adding the, what is in the budget to that Warren article, which we cannot do in this body, but we can do that at the session. Mm -hmm. So I want to zero out the sidewalks of $26,000, let's make that zero, with the expressed intent of being at the session and adding $26,000 to the sidewalk Warren article. This is the only, and that's my motion. Can I get a second? Second. Thank you. The only way we're going to, these sidewalks don't get done year after year after year. We keep funding it year after year after year. The only way we're going to be sure that the money is being spent on sidewalks is to put it in a warrant article. There is already an existing warrant article. We simply put this $26,000 on top of the present warrant article, and we know that money is earmarked for sidewalks and only sidewalks. And so that's what I intend to do with the little session if, in fact, you support this motion. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I understand uh, Tim's methodology. Um, I would tend to agree with his methodology. My only concern is that if the Warren article does not pass, then there is a zero line item now for sidewalks and curbs, and therefore no work will get done on sidewalks in this town. That's just all. Like, I would, just like every year. I would like to. <laughs> there's no option, there's, but there's no option to do it. We've had I'd a. Like to we've had a department. Let me let me answer his question. We've had a department head again come in and say. This is not the, the, the department of years past. I intend on doing this work. He already has a thorough plan that he explained to this board ad nauseum the work he intends to do in relations to sidewalks in this town. Mm -hmm. If we remove it all from his budget, put it in the Warren article, and that article fails, he cannot provide that work and, and give this services to them, which is duly needed. Okay. And I agree that it's needed. Before, I will not support this. Before okay. we vote on this, because I might, I would need somebody to make an amendment to this. Um, Nick, I, I like your energy, mm -hmm. but for some of us who have voted repeatedly believing that we would get sidewalks, and much like a, a wood chipper years ago and never got it, <laughs> <laughs> all right, like I know you, we go that far back, <laughs> sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, I'm in favor of the Warren article. I am in favor of, and I will be there for deliberative session to make the amendment myself 
to that Warren article for whatever we look to take out of this. The one difference that I have with what Tim is suggesting and why I would ask for an amendment is that there is $5,000 worth of work in the balance for um, handicap ramps in this town that was part of the work that was going to be done. I'd like to leave that 5000 in the budget, take 21000 out of the budget and put it in the Warren article, and then I'd like everybody here to be at that deliberative session to say how much we support that Warren article and vote for the increase, um, moving it there and knowing that we will get caught up somewhat, uh, at least with a good shove, with the Warren article for just that that can't be touched to put anywhere else. So my difference would be 5000 left here. That way, should it fail, we'll still be able to do the handicap work, which, trust me, is a lot more than has been done in other years when we did absolutely nothing. Tim? Madam, Madam Chair, your, your idea is consistent in principle with my objective. And um, I see no reason why I couldn't compromise with that. Uh, so uh, if you wish, I will remove my motion and give you an opportunity to make the motion to just state it. Okay. Well, I would ask for someone to give me a motion to reduce this by 21000 I so move. And a second? Second again. <laughs> okay. And for the record, I would definitely be allowed to go with that to make sure that the the handicap guidelines definitely at least make sure that gets done. Uh, that I, I, I agree with that. It's a good compromise. Okay. It's a good compromise. Thank you. The goal here is that the work gets done. Yes. And I will more than advocate for the Warren article as well. I'll be counting on all you guys. I'll case. be looking Thank for you. all of you to get yes. up there and talk about Does it. Does the director think he, he's got the people and the know how to do 47 plus 21? He says he does, and I'll trust him in that. Okay? He rolled that out to us, and, and we're going for it. But we want to make sure it doesn't get buried somewhere else is like it has been every year but this one that's why i'm going this way because um Faith in the our department dpw head. director put the effort out there and I'm, I'm supporting that but i'm supporting it in a different way through warren article and not the budget so i like that all right and putting that to a vote what, what's the what's okay. the motion? A motion? Vote yes on this one, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Minus twenty-one thousand to go in the warrant article. Five thousand would be left in the budget. Uh, I'm all for taking the twenty-one thousand, but I don't think we can guarantee anything to deliberation session tonight. We didn't say we'd guarantee it, but we did say mm -hmm. that we would look to add it. I'll okay. personally Looked look to it. add that. We're guaranteeing in. that we will make an amendment at the deliberative session. You are guaranteeing it. I'm guaranteeing that I will make the amendment at the literature. Oh, we'll and I guarantee you will second it. <laughs> <laughs> are you also okay right. me that I'm going to win the lottery tonight? Ready for a vote? All those in favor? Come on. On 21. Okay. Yeah. One tw uh, yeah, tw 21. Nick? By 20. Scott, are you in favor of that amendment? No, you want to leave it in the budget as it is. Okay. Um, so, Nick, Maybe. Mike, Sonny, Jim? Yeah. Eileen? I'm, I'm in favor. Tim? Yeah. <clears throat> Mike? And Jerry. And Ms. Bean, how did you vote? Uh, I am opposed to any vote. Thank you. He's speaking the party line. All righty. It's an interesting quote opposed. for a campaign, though. <laughs> All right. So, opposed would be Phil, Scott, Sonny. Six. Six. So, motion fails six to six. Thank you, gentlemen. So, this is 26. Can we, uh, okay. No, see, Nick, some people will never compliment. Um, so the motion was to move 21 into the Warren card. Mm -hmm. How about if I make a motion to remove 26,000, 21,000, and keep just remove it and keep keep a 5,000 in there for uh, contingency purposes? Jerry, I would suggest that, that was the vote motion. went the way it went. You had 21 going into the Warren card. I don't think you Jerry, I would suggest the motion yeah. went the way it went, not because of the numbers. Yeah. But simply because of the principle of right. not being willing to compromise. Yeah. 
Exactly. Madam Chairman, yes. that's absolutely incorrect. Okay. You have a compromise you'd like to offer? The reason I voted the way I did, quite mm -hmm. frankly, is because what I've heard over and over here tonight was what the past administration of DPW has not done. We have new leadership down there. I think they've shown what their resolve is to get things done. Amen. And yet over and over tonight I've heard you don't spend the money in sidewalks when they've shown right out here that they do spend the money in sidewalks. Yeah. We've heard, well, I'm not going to give you money for trees because you, don't, you haven't spent. It's the first year that we've had that new administration. And they have shown repeatedly that they are doing what they're saying they're going to do. So it has nothing to do with non-compromise. It has everything to do with my full faith in the ability of these people to do the job that they're telling us they're going to do. And if they come back next year and nothing is done, then I think we have an argument to hold these people accountable. But until such time, I don't think that's a fair statement that I'm willing, unwilling to compromise. So you're well, you know, your argument, Jim, is a good one. Uh, but I would simply point out that we're not seeking to take any money away from the sidewalks at all. It's just a question. Potentially, you are. Because no, if it fails, no, it's not going. It, it would. It would. It wouldn't fail. But you see, it, it may very well. Wait a well. minute. You're you're saying that. But uh, you, I'm, I'm just the people you, at the deliberative session we'll may not be that enthused with what Tim Jones says about taking the money and putting it there. No, when, well, at the deliberative session, yeah, they, they, would, they would see a compromise as a, as a oh, desirable thing. Well, we don't have a crystal ball, so we're not the, 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 the real issue, uh, we'll move on. The real may, issue may I here is what happens on at the, the ballot. I understand that. You know? okay. understand Let's vote on the original the motion process. real quick. I'm gonna, I want to make the same motion you did a while ago about taking the 2100 out of this line, yeah. out of this line item, period. That's not a reconsideration. That, that, Madam Chair, that that's a different motion. The, it's, it, a it's not a different motion as we don't have Same the motion. authority right now to put the money in a warrant article. We don't have that authority Same as a board. Motion, yes, we so it's a that. Same motion, yeah, working under an same, assumption as before. Same, so the change the number motion. and you'll have a different motion. And Jim, unfortunately, exactly. while we support the department anyway. heads, they are managed and they're sometimes told to hold back and these are the lines they've been held back on wow. maybe you need a few more years to see it happen we've some of us here have I, already I really seen don't it happen need to be schooled, well, we're just I don't need giving to be you schooled. giving you our rationale we've listened to yours thank you all right 21 20, 20. okay i'll make a motion for 20. Good great. come on let's, let's this, be you're, reasonable you're wasting here. time with it. Yeah. i think so too. you're wasting time we're wasting at okay. this point okay the i have one more uh Observation here. Whereabouts? Sewer line maintenance. Sewer line maintenance. We're not down. We're not down oh, there we're yet. We're not down there. I'm sorry. No, we're yeah. still in total paving and, and no. reconstruction. Are we up to snow removal? Sidewalks and curbs. We did snow and ice removal. Is next. Uh, it's highway streets and bridges and lighting. Right. In the middle of 239. I uh, paid 39. I don't know what the total is because I haven't got mine adjusted. We haven't voted on did we paving do the and number? We did Is there vote. anything else under snow and ice removal hmm? before we go back to the bottom well, line? Well, Jerry here. likes to talk about sand and salt, so. <laughs> no, I'm a sand guy. Okay, so, you're gonna, you sand. Want, so do you want to pound some? Or no. What? Okay. <laughs> no. I uh, have no comments on sand. They seem to have a lot of sand. And uh, I don't know where it comes from. They see that one. <laughs> so we have a motion for 453069? Yes. Second. Okay, who made the motion? I'll make it. Nick? Nick. And a second by Bob. All right, all those in favor, 453069? Yeah, come on. Okay, opposed. Yeah, I've had a couple of areas there. That right. I... So I'm going to add myself to that, Mike. Tim? Tim, how are you Me? voting on that? And Jerry? I voted. Yeah. Okay. I, I just. Uh, Negatively. I heard too many confessions. Just trying to help the chairman out, trying to keep track of you guys over and there. No, and, my vote. and no abstentions. Yeah. I move street lighting for two hundred nineteen thousand. Mm-hmm. Second. Second. That's on page thirty-nine. Any discussion? All those in favor? It's unanimous. Right here. 
Even Mr. Bean? Even Mr. Bean. Uh-oh, we're slipping. Okay. Municipal sanitation. Someone move the line of one million four hundred ninety-five thousand. I would 000. so move total administration for one million four hundred ninety-five thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars. Second. All right. Did we vote on the total for highway streets and bridges in line? Did we vote on that line? No. We should have. Okay. Yeah. There's a. The subtotal of that total section, yeah, two million, two million one sixty three nine fifty three. I don't think we did vote that. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. Thank you. Two we million did. one sixty three nine fifty three. Okay. Yes. Moved. Second. Seconded. All those in favor? Did it change? No. This includes sidewalks. I know. Yeah. Just trying to make it's the game, thing move along a little bit. Not going to revisit sidewalks. No. I know. That's it. It's good. Yeah. Let's I know. go. All right. Now moving down to administration. Me, Nick and Brian already moved it. To vote on that? Anything in this section? It's under municipal sanitation administration. Total administration. Nothing? All right. All those in favor? Mm. Opposed? Abstention? Tim? I'm for it. Okay, moving down to solid waste. I move is? waste collection for $445,268. Waste collection. What page is that on? Solid waste collection. What page is that on? OBS 17. Hmm? OBS 17. Uh, 43. What was that? 43? 43, uh, okay. Uh, Thank you. Nick. $445,268. Yeah, I see it. Okay, the correct number is 444 what? 445, 268, Mike. Correct. 268, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Which is 34 and a half thousand above the default. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Any, keeping track of the any, um, any discussion on this? I didn't hear a second. I did. Okay, thank you. All right. Take a vote on this one, on the 445-268. All those in favor? Unanimous. All right. Going on to the next one, I total. Move solid waste disposal for $882,000, oh, sorry, 882311 $1,000. I will second that, noting that it's $30,972 over the default. 882311 Correct, 882-311. What was the number again? 882311. Eight, 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 Almost 31,000 over the default. Any reason for bringing that up? Because it's a comparative note. I don't think Which I'm entitled to when I second a motion. I did. All right. Discussion on this? None? Okay. All those in favor? Unanimous. No. I'm opposed oh. to this one. Sewage collection and disposal? Um, yeah, I moved sewage collection and disposal for 204000 And I will second that, noting it's exactly the same as the default. Oh. Duly noted. I have a comment in here. Yep. Through line maintenance, 130,000. Year to date, through November, was 17,167. Last four year average, 23,000. This, I, I think this line needs to be reduced. We just don't see any action. And, and I, I heard what one of our colleagues say, but about trusting our new administration and all that, but until I see the numbers come in that match the lines, 
or is even more close to the line. Do we have a project for that amount? I speak to the board, yes. Mr. Zanoli requested earlier today, and we gave him copies of a um, couple of lot projects. A anyway. couple of projects. So your prior statement that there's nothing planned is. I got that in email, I believe. Exactly. I was asked to bring copies. Is that the one that was shipped out to us today via email? Yes. Oh. Yes. We yeah, got a lot, of, not, a lot of time to look at this, haven't we? I, I, I did email. ask Chris. I said, tell me Thank what you, you have for projects that might use that 130. That was a two-minute warning. Hey, I could. I hope so. <laughs> this is the same presentation that we made back in December when we went through the PowerPoint presentation. These are the two of the cut sheets that Jen... Uh, mm -hmm prepared and, and we explained to the board. Uh, attached to this is also the estimate that I, I did in 2012 and I updated it in 2014. We have a section of sewer line uh, south of Dunkin' Donuts and before you get to the galley hatch yeah, we where, talked about that, Chris. If you look at the photos, it, it's cracked. It's, yeah. we've the, got a the hole. The thing is tonight, what is the numbers on that project? The numbers on that project to actually do it is 267,000. Yeah. We're asking you for 130. We want to get at least the worst portion done. We are going to expend all 130,000. I'll either have a contractor do it or we'll do it in house. But either way, we're, we're expending the 130,000. You'll go as in far as location. you can with the 130 for this year. Right. Jerry, are you content with that? Yeah, I, I just think it, it's a what it, it's a it's a it's a vitreous pipe that has a. It, but some portion of it is been eaten away or broken or damaged, right? Is that, what, is that what it is? It's vitrified clay pipe. So why is it so expensive to go down and replace a section of it or whatever? 15 feet below ground. I have to pay for police state details. I have to buy the pipe. I have to dig it up. I have to also do bypass pumping so they can't ask people on Lafayette Road to stop flushing. So I'll literally be pumping from one manhole to another while we're actually doing the work. Right. And I can't slip line this one because there's so many defects in it and sections missing that there'd be nothing for the slip line. How to long is the to. section that you have to replace? The total sections are... 620 feet. Yeah, thank you. 620. 620 feet. But that 620 feet will cost 267000 The one worst one case one is about... Pipe or whatever. Well, 12 inches and, and down 10 or 12 feet. I'm going to spend a lot of money dewatering. How long would that project take to do? I bet I'll easily be out there a month. Really? That's right in front of Dana's garage? Is that what it is? Yep. So <laughs> if you get to 130, what, what, how, much can, how far can you get with this job? Until all 130000 is spent. Probably half of it. So I, then when you fill the hole back up? No, we'll go from manhole to manhole, and if we get to a point where there's a good place to stop, we'll stop. We can actually even go down the road and put in, uh, remove the clay, and when we uh, re replace it with the plastic, we'll literally put what they know, call a boot or a fern co, yeah. for lack of a better term. Uh, Chris, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I've got a message on my phone from someone at home from 26 minutes ago that says there's no sound. Device Sorry to interrupt you. So they're, they're watching at Jen's house too. She can probably. Well, at least I hadn't turned it Do we off. have sound? Huh? So, it so off. the point is, I'll expend all the money I can to get to where the point I, I, I as far as I can go. Okay. You know. All right. Okay. I have to comment. You good with that? No, I got one No, more I don't want to have it be a whole. I understand. But, my courtesy. but I'm saying is. That sewers may be like roads. When you have a project, you know, it's 260, whatever it is. Maybe we need, and maybe they think, should think about a trust fund or a capital trust fund to sewers, and maybe sewers and roads together, so that we got enough money to do what's critical to be done. Jerry, I think it's a good idea, but not for tonight. I understand. I just like to raise the idea. I have a question before we move off of this. Okay. Um, is this the same repair that we did when we were going to redo the intersection? It was suggested to redo the repair when you redid the intersection, but it never took off. Okay, because it, that for the Lost intersection was fun. Yeah, right. Thank you. Madam Chair, to your point, uh, I have my wife watching at home, and she says on the computer, it's working. 
The sound is on. I just checked in the back room and they turned it up on their TV and it's working just fine. So the recording's working. Okay, no, I'm just giving you what somebody. And I got a yeah, there's sound too. You got a yeah, there's sound too, yeah. They actually had the TV on in there on channel 22 and it was playing. I'd like to hear from Mr. Pluff on this topic. Wrong what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the sounds are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes. Yeah. Both for five years it needs mm. to be done. Yeah, this needs to be He's done. Gonna do something You're going to do it. All right. All of it My question was just this. Is there a project? There is. I'm good. You gave us that. I wish we had it sooner. We is wouldn't be asking you now. Yes, it is. Thank I'm you. good with that. Jerry. I'm good, good with that. that. I'm good. With that. I'm good. Hear, All I right. I need to hear from Mr. Pluff, our other expert. Moving on to uh, total municipal sanitation of 3,027,194. What did you have? Oh, actually. Did we vote on the 204,000? Know we no. didn't vote on we the 204,000, but you know what? We can vote on the fifth, all three of them at one time. The, there we go. The total also of $5,175,947. Hold on. That's no. not the number I have. I have five, $5,191,147. Is that what it is? Number two. Yeah. It's, what is it again? Give me that again. $5,191,147. What line item is that? Yeah, that's the, that's the adjustment for that other contract. How many works on page 46? The sidewalks. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor of these three lines? Jim? No, I've got the sidewalk. sidewalk. Okay, that's right. I'm taking that out. Mine's out. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, mine's out, too. Yeah, one, two, three. I'm staying out of this. You're out of it, too? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <coughs> All right, seven yes, four no. Because we're under the whole budget, like a pipe. Exactly. <laughs> then we have to spend millions to fix it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Five million. All right, let's move on down. Can I have a motion on the one sixty one? Um, $161,036. I move Health and Human Services to $161,036. Oh, you jump past Animal Control. See you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, oh. He wants to move the whole thing, I guess. Oh, okay. Animal yeah. Control is online. All righty, no, no, never mind. No, it's under Health. Yeah, it's under Health and Human Services. Okay. Okay. Health, health, and health, health and Human Services. Past my bedtime. Health and Human Services, $161,036. Second. Second. In that line. Second, Scott. What was the total again? One six one zero three six. Thank you. Can I see it? All right. All those in favor? Aye. Bill Pagiano. Unanimous. Unanimous. No, I'll abstain because uh, I see there's gasoline in it. Oh, uh, on Because of what? There's a life of gasoline in there. Gasoline has been reduced. Forty three hundred. It's been reduced already, son. Has it been reduced? Yes, <laughs> you okay with it? All right. Absolutely. So we're unanimous on yeah. that? Yeah. Right. Oh, thank you. How do you expect to control animals without gasoline? Okay. <laughs> I move welfare administration, $28,017. Come on, we should do to total welfare. Second. Yeah. <laughs> I will second that, noting it's 3000 below the default. Wait, wait, wait. Welfare administration, where, what line had the, uh, okay. Got it. Never mind. 51017. Who moved it? Nick? Well, I was just doing the line of welfare administration. All right. Who's second? Twenty-eight thousand seventeen dollars Oh, note that's flat with the fault. Second. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. <laughs> All right. Direct assistance. 23000 even. Why don't you just do the total? Do the total. total. 51.017. 51.017. I'll, I'll second that. All right. Like apparently, that was changed from 26, I guess. Yeah. Okay, all those in favor? Unanimous. Mm -hmm. Oh, setting? Oh, there's 2,000 for oh. gas in there. It's been reduced, Sonny, across the board. Yeah, they, reduced them. they went through them all again. All right, you're sure enough. Yeah. Oh, yes. In order to get direct, all right. there's gas. So it's unanimous. All right. Next. Parks and I move Parks and Recreation for $250,984. Wait a minute. took the whole enchilada. No. That's the line. That's the line. 4520, right? All right, the second here. Second. Correct, 4520. Okay, Mike. That was 2449. Discussion on this. 250. 
984. Okay, that's where I see where he is. He's at the very bottom. Yeah. So that's a, that was adjusted from the Total Fox and Rec, is that 25 20? Yeah. He's, he's got administration, two maintenance of all the way down. Nine to eight four. Just right above total parts. Total is two five. Two five oh nine eighty four. Yeah. On page fifty one. This must have been another one of those lines that were adjusted by board selection after the default budget worksheet was sent out. My dated 12-31-15 has $250,984 on it. Yep, so well, mine's dated. Same one. Mine's well, dated, dated 12-31-15. I don't know what date. Mine's 10-20. No one right I'm on looking section. at 1-5-16 at two fifty nine eighty four. Is that the number? That's the number I have also. I just have an older version. I have a 12-31 okay. version. All right, as long as we have the same version. All right. Discussion on parks and recreation. Anybody? Okay. I have, I have discussion. Um, lifeguards. I'm troubled with the lifeguard program. Last year we didn't have it, and the two years prior to that, it was very difficult to get people for it. Um, when we asked Diana, we didn't know if they were going to go forward with the program or not. Um, I'd like to remove that from this budget. That's on page 49 to 16, 640. Yeah. Uh, it's the last line item in administration. And, I, and I'll, I'll say it from this standpoint. First of all, I'm one of those water babies. I'm water everything. So I'm very in favor of things usually when it comes to things like this. In my life, I've been a lifeguard and I've trained lifeguards. And you give yourself a lot of exposure to be understaffed, to leave somebody out there and be shorthanded, all right, to post that we have lifeguards on duty and not have lifeguards on duty. I think since it's shaky ground and the state keeps trumping us for what they're paying and lifeguards are going to the state and not to us, that we might be better off right now if we just leave um, this says posted as no lifeguards on duty and get out of the liability end of it. Um, not that Diana hasn't tried. It's just a very difficult thing or it has proved a very difficult thing to staff um, for us ever since the, the state dumped it in our laps with no funding. So rather than have something that's not totally there, puts anybody in jeopardy, including the people working in it, including the lifeguards themselves. Um, I would choose to unfund this. It wasn't fund, it, it didn't work last year. We did not have lifeguards. Um, and the determination as to whether or not we were going to have them this year is not there either. So with that doubt, I would ask that you, uh, that there's a motion to take out 18,000. Okay, I'll, I'll make the motion, but I want to be able to discuss it. Okay. Second? Well, I'll second it, but I want to ask Diana a question. Yeah, me too. D right. Diana, what are we doing with lifeguards? I'm not thinking we don't fund it. <laughs> well, that's why I'm asking. Um, well, we're hoping to have lifeguards again this year. We're at, we'll be advertising for it again, but I'm not going to put lifeguards out there that aren't certified. I mean, we've had a number of people apply for jobs that are not certified. I like right. But they have to be certified to go out there, and we need five We need five of them to do the job correctly. And that's what happened last year? Last year that. we only had two, yeah. and How I said we're before? not going to do it. How about the year before? Or post the year right? before we had six. The year before that? And the year before that we had five. Now we post when we're not. Correct. We say no lifeguards on duty, swim at your own risk. Correct. And, and I, I will say that I'm not the only one that can't find lifeguards. Rye was calling me looking for lifeguards. The state just barely made it with enough lifeguards. All around New England, the talk around parks and rec professionals is the hardest thing that they do all summer is trying to get sea lifeguards. Coast? On the sea coast? No, in, the, in New England. Everywhere. Everywhere. Let me make a point, though, on this. If we take the money out, that's fine. But then she won't be able to get any lifeguards. I Correct. mean, she won't even know if she gets a re capable of getting a response. So I think. What is this, a rock and a hard place? Either you completely do it or you completely don't do it. Well, I know she's advertised and I know she's tr had serious attempts going to UNH and putting articles in papers and she's struggling. She's struggling with this line item. Okay. 
I, I, I'm kind of ambivalent on this. All right, I, I, I don't want to be the one pointed at, but he voted against lifeguards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm sorry. So yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I would need. I think I need the, the courage of convictions from Diana. Diana. Yes. Good to talk this weekend. <laughs> um, well, I understand that you're going to get five lifeguards, or you're going to get no lifeguards. You're going to get five or more lifeguards, or none. Is that the way it comes down? Well, the way the way that the program should work to be very successful is to have five lifeguards. Right. So your and policy. And that way we have two guards at at both spots all the time because one will be doing breaks. I perfectly understand right? it. I just want to be clear that your policy, your policy essentially is you have five or more lifeguards or you have zero lifeguards. And you're having a yes. hard time acquiring them. And now one more professional estimation from you, if I might. Mm -hmm. What would you guesstimate would be the probability of getting five lifeguards next year? I don't know. It, it's very bizarre because the year before last, I had six. Mm -hmm. Last year, I had two that wanted to work. So what are we going to have this year? Depends on how popular it is to be a lifeguard again. Uh, it's hard to say. So I would like to get five again. Well, independent of liking or loving or whatever, but the bottom line is you have no sense at all of whether the probability is high or low of getting a lifeguard. I don't really have a sense, and I hate to say that out loud, but it's just... Well, you know, this is a perfect situation. Everybody's been saying it's tough. It's a perfect situation, it seems to me, for us to put the money aside in the lifeguard fund that you can draw on when you do find lifeguards, and that can sit there when you don't find it. But we don't have that option in this body at this time. No. But, of course, the Board of Selectmen do, uh, and I will say nothing more than that. <laughs> it's too late to issue a warrant article at this point. Right. Well, it's not too late for next year. It's always, wait till next year, right, Fred? Yeah. <laughs> right, that's exactly correct. If you I'm a baseball fan, it, what can I say? Wait till next year. <laughs> if you do remove it, you understand that the default sum for lifeguards goes to zero. No, yeah. I'm saying if you had a fund for lifeguards. You'd have, to, you'd have to do a warrant article to create the fund. Exactly. Because you would never have it in the budget. And the, and the, and right, and that would be a good thing. I think that's what he said. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. Should have it as a contingency anyway. Basically, a contingency fund, yeah. You know, and, and, uh, so anyway, know. that's an idea that we can't deal with today. I have no clue what I'm to do with this, Diana. What happens if we don't have any lifeguards? We, we put up a sign that says sign. "swim at your own risk," right? Which is, in my opinion, the sign we should have up even when we do have lifeguards. <laughs> well, that sign is up, and it says the hours that the lifeguards are out there and the hours that you are swimming at your own risk. Right? Do you notice? Do you notice any any adverse? Uh, Results of not having lifeguards. I mean, most of the beach is still covered with the state. I get a I mean, lot of complaints that we don't right? have lifeguards. Pardon? I get a lot of complaints that we don't have lifeguards. You get a, so you get a lot of phone calls. Yeah, is it local phone calls mostly, or so it's local phone calls? Yeah. Okay. I think the I'm sure I'll move the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Jim, I, I I can't support cutting that out um, at all. I think we're doing a disservice to uh, what is it, Place Cove? Place Cove and Sun Valley. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know how you just. If the state is trumping us with money, then maybe what we should be doing instead of taking the money away is putting a little money in it, so that we can advertise a little bit higher rate than the state. We're looking for five. The state's looking for 30, fifty, whatever. whatever. Is, yeah. Why don't we advertise a little bit higher rate? I don't. I don't know how we can even contemplate thinking that we can take two areas of town and say, well, we couldn't find anybody, so swimming your own risk. I, I, because something is hard, I don't think you abandon it. I'm not right. knocking your approach on this. Yeah. I'm saying if something is hard, then we work harder and smarter to find a way. And if that means we have to offer another 50 cents an hour than what the state's getting and pull some people off them, then we do it. They're going, to find, they're going to find people. How much more would you need to trump the state, do you think? I think they're pretty similar, actually. They right are pretty now. similar. Based on your testimony at the, at the thing, you thought that you thought we were almost equal. Right. They're very so similar. If we went a little bit higher, we'll then, or, or, you know, or, or let's look at this in, in some other ways. Are, are we advertising 
the right way? Are we advertising on social media mm -hmm. um, rather than newspapers? Because the, the kids, young people are watching exactly, social kids, media. Yeah. Kids who we are going to take that job aren't reading the newspaper for jobs. They're right. looking at social media. Right. Um, and I will say that I have enough money in the budget right now to do a long period of time, which historically I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to get lifeguards say um, labor uh, Memorial Day weekend so I could if given permission to do that I could raise the salaries a little bit and still have enough money the way that we are just have a shorter season which is what we've been having yeah a shorter season would be better than no season right so that's just my I would, I would, I was actually going to raise the point that Jim made um, to make us more competitive steel, maybe a few from the state. Obviously, the state isn't giving us, I mean, it's been a big topic of discussion. We're not getting a lot back from the state money wise. Yeah. If we take a couple of their employees and make the beaches that we have uh, safer, I think that's a better service than stripping the money out and not even giving us the option to pursue it. I do like Tim's idea of creating a fund moving forward, but I think in the short term, in the interim, I would I would recommend increasing this line item to make us more competitive, have a good full season, fully staffed beach. Um, I, I, I don't have a, I'd be more than happy to make a motion for an increase. Um, I, I, I so what kind of looking for a number though? What does the state pay and what do we pay then? I don't know off the top of my head. We pay twelve dollars an hour for the head lifeguard and ten dollars an hour for starting lifeguards. Mm -hmm. I got Same. one lifeguard that um, would have worked last year that would probably work this year and I would probably want to give her a little bit of a raise. Ten dollars seems like like a low amount of money. Yeah, I mean you can make that work at Mickey you're D's. Not, you're not up against only mm -hmm. the state. Yeah. Right now, water country is yeah. eating up right. a lot yeah. of your, yeah. your lifeguards. You don't realize that. And if you're a lifeguard, here's your option. Go to the beach where you have a danger or go in a pool where you stick out a pole. That's an easy choice for somebody who's a lifeguard. So, Madam Chair, would you be willing to withdraw your motion in favor of a motion that increases this? Isn't there a training program required to be? I didn't make a motion. I asked for a motion, and I didn't. I'm making it from. I made it the withdraw? request from the standpoint of liability. It's an all-or-nothing situation. I also would have no problem if Diana chose or wasn't able to. Well, we discussed this already. If that eighteen thousand dollars was left in her budget and she did not use it for this program to be able to access it for other things she might need. Other than that program, I can't make that call. That'll depend on how the year goes. But I just didn't want to allocate $18,000 for something that might not be spent. It might end up with another department to go for something else. Oh, I can withdraw it at any time. I'm just wanting to make sure that's what we want to do. I'm fine with withdrawing. I'll withdraw it then. Favor a motion that would be increased. No, I'll just withdraw it, and you guys can do what you want to do. Uh, so if the motion, I'm sorry, Tim. No, it was your idea initially. Well, you I was going to say, if the motion was withdrawn, would we entertain a motion um, to increase it to 23, which would be an addition of $5,000, which gives you some wiggle room? That was the number I was thinking of okay. as well. But she already said she has the money. Right. She has extra money available if she needs. It'd be a shorter but it would be a shorter season. season. Mm -hmm. she, she right. But she hasn't been able to fill those shoulders. Right. right. Anyway. I'm saying anyway. let's start the yeah. whole season. Let's well, have no, enough money there. Everybody she says she has school. a problem filling those ends because the kids mm -hmm. are still in school, right? Yeah. Right. Is that it? Well, I didn't say because they're still in school, but I I have, it, historically I have not had, I've only had like one season where they started early. Most, most, will more money, such as $23,000, significantly increase the probability of getting five lifeguards? I think if I pay people enough, they'll come. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that you can say a significant increase. Yeah, that's okay. a significant Madam Chair, I second Mr. O'Loughlin's motion. To raise, raise the it to 23,000? And what I will do in return, <coughs> everything passes or whatever, I will uh, see what everybody else is paying and make sure that we're paying. Uh -huh. Just top them. Top them. Should be able yeah. to top them with yeah. 23. I'll right? check, and you can't I'll top them by a dime or 15 cents or 50 cents. Yeah. you got to top them. No, Wait a minute. You know, the kids want to be <laughs> at the pool. This is the cherry. I know. It's all, it's all <laughs> Jim. Let's vote. Yeah.
All right, Brian. Um, who pays for their training? They do. They do. It's big money. I was yeah. a lifeguard too. It's around three thousand, three hundred dollars to become a lifeguard, and it's a long, it's a long drawn out yeah. course. My wife was. Yeah. taught for 20 years yeah. and I was going to say it oh, adds yeah. up to get recertified yeah, every year. Yeah, and I think that's a lot of the reason that kids kind of feel like, yeah, I have to pay the $300, but I'm not in favor of paying for someone to go take a lifeguard course and then have them say, oh, you know what, I'm going to go down work the street. for Ryan's Well, Well, it's the same you know thing, thing we mean? fall into with the police department. Although, yeah. although, if we're increasing it by five grand, you could take 1500 to offer to pay for the course and then make them sign a contract to work for us for the season. Well, you give but, them a bonus if they stay till Labor Day. Or something. Well, look, yeah. all that's management decision. We've right. given them the flexibility yeah. by right. giving them money. Let's vote. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Let's vote. Yeah. All right. Let's vote. There was a motion. By who made the motion? I made, Jim. made the motion, Jim. Jim. Looking, looking forward to Mr. Bean's Jim vote second. on this one. All right. All those in favor of increasing that line to $23,000. It. It's, it's unanimous almost, on, Mr. Chair. Come on. Be unanimous. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Opposed? Opposed? There's an art to persuasion. Oh, is it the money that was the issue? Is it? Okay. I don't know. I can't don't even really know. What the She's going to find out. So. Six. Oh, boy. So that all was right. Park and Recreation. We're all done with yeah. that. We can vote for the bottom line on that. All right. So that increases so it to two. So the adjusted total I have is two five five nine eight four for okay. Parks and Recreation forty five twenty. So I assume your guy beside you concurs. Motion. Okay. Can I second that motion? Motion. Yes. I second that. Tim. Yes. Okay. Nothing. I have favor. no idea how it relates to the default. All those in favor. All right. Unanimous. Did, Mike, did you put your hand up on that? Yes. Thank you, Dean. I, I voted. I voted no, not not because of that. Okay. I know. You wanted to take Mike's vote of no. I had the three articles in there: not the five for the skate board, the two for the playground surfacing, and the two for the building expense. I wanted that to go into the warrant article. I didn't want it to be in the operating budget. Oh. Okay. And I don't want to take it out of here. No, not right. take it out of here. Next year. So I, I vote no on this. The library is how much? Wait a minute. Uh, can I make a motion on the library? Yep. Yeah. Well, let's think, let's move the bottom it's, line. Um, let's move the total. The bottom first. line is eight five six one four five. Okay, and a second on that. A second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sunny? My motion is it's eight hundred. It's almost eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Should be its own department, and it should be separate. Separate should be under recreation. Okay. What are we talking about? The library. That, it is, it is its own library. entity, though. It is. Not just out. We're ready for the library. Budget. Yeah. The library is the its library. own line item. It's it line item its number 4550. <laughs> it has its own separate eight, section. Five, six, one, four, five, under, four, it comes under Thank parks and recreation. Yeah. The library eight, has its eight, own five, budget. Six, one, four, five. Correct. Yep. All right. No, it's not in the Parks and Recreation. It's on the Culture and Recreation. Culture and Recreation. That's I'm just sorry. A, that's just a, a grouping. It's not any legal right. consequence to okay. it at all. Right. Discussion on this one? No. All right. All those in favor? <laughs> that was Brian. All right. One no. Patriotic purposes, I move for whatever it is, 1800 bucks. Second. Flat with the default. There's no need to discuss it. We're all too patriotic for that. Well, let's move it right on down the bottom line on the next page. One one three seven. Be calling for a vote on that, Madam Chair. Patriotic purposes. Yep. All those in favor. Unanimous. Other gardens, I move for five hundred. Or sorry, other flower gardens, five hundred dollars. Uh, what? Yeah, let's do culture and recreation. You mean other culture? Total. G. I'm okay with that too. Culture and recreation total. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's what it says. Other flowers. No, it says other culture. Come on, it's five hundred dollars. Line item Give me four, a five, eight, nine. Vote right? for it. Hey guys, second. It's not for size. Five hundred bucks. Can we talk about this for twenty minutes? All right. Oh. All in favor? Unanimous. Yeah, thanks. Let's move to the bottom line. The other flower. Conservation okay. Commission, Nick. I'm going to be pushing. Thirty-three thousand six hundred ninety dollars. Oh, what is it? Seconded by Mr. Bean. <laughs> All right, thirty-three thousand six hundred and ninety. I got something to say here. What? What? Conservation Commission. Okay, go ahead. 
Which fund is it? Which fund is that? Supplies and expenses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Do whatever you want to do with this, but I do think that between the conservation fund and supplies and expenses, which is expenses is almost anything, that between the fund that allows for maintenance and everything else in it, and not just land acquisition, that there's a double dipping in this. and. In going through some of the records for conservation, I mean, are you aware that we're mowing the lawns under the conservation fund? I am. And it's like, it wasn't too long ago, and I mean just a handful of years, that conservation didn't mm. have budget lines in the budget. Now, this is starting to evolve into a little department in itself between personnel and supplies and expenses, but also within their fund, whatever name you want to call it, they also have the right to have funds and use funds in there for maintenance and supplies and et cetera. So if you're funding it and you're funding it in two places, if you're voting for the Warren article and you're passing it in the budget here, mm -hmm. I just think that's worth mentioning to you guys. Don't they have a secretary there? Well, they have the secretary, and the secretary is funded out of the budget. But they're also taking supplies and doing maintenance out of the conservation fund. And so mm -hmm. you've got money coming out for the same things in both places, supplies and, and maintenance. and ex Let's put it this way, expenses is how it reads in both entities. Let me uh, make a comment about that. Yeah, Mike. Um, I agree that there's the capability to do double debt. Capability, not saying they have double debt. I'm just saying that it's possible to do that. However, the, the downside is just having him take it out, out of the fund. There's no record in the, in, the public, in the public view that we can see easily, like we discussed the budget. We can see that they spent blah, 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 and we see that they can spend most of these supplies. Right? It's all right here in the budget. It's right so we there. Can, yeah. The Treasury's yes, report, the treasury right report. there, for the Conservation Fund for 2015. It's all the slips. I understand, but how many people in the public read that? They can hear us the talking about it. The public trusts the budget committee to do that for them. We can, we can scrutinize this in a few minutes. It doesn't hurt us at all. I'm just saying, as the budget committee, knowing what we know now about some of the expenses, quite honestly, I'm, I'm not sure why it, coming out of conservation at 150 bucks a whack to mow ice pond, all right, if we've acquired land through conservation, I don't know why the maintenance of that isn't passed to DPW. But that, I think, is hinging on policy. Right. But I'm just making you aware that certain expenses can be paid either out of this budget <coughs> or out of their funds. Well, it's the, by the statute, they can fund their whole operation. Well, then that's correct. Either mm. tonight or down the road, you may not. You may decide not to fund it here. My job tonight is to bring it up to you to let you know that after looking at everything, there are things that can be taken. Same item can be mm. taken out of both places. So I just you, want to make sure we're not make funding. A motion it to eliminate that? Hmm? Are you making a motion to eliminate that? No, I'm making you aware of it. Okay. Okay, making you aware of supplies and expenses Ooh, can be supply. done in either mm. end. Tim. Madam Chair, I've been singing this song for three years, and it's delightful to hear someone else sing it. It mm -hmm. really is. But nobody was listening to you. It's too no, that's why it's delightful to hear someone else <laughs> sing it, so I can at least hear it. <laughs> but it is true. I mean, it is double dipping because you're, you've got two cups in the same water, that, that the water of the taxpayer. You've got the conservation fund, which is funded in one arm, and you got the budget, which is funding the conservation acti same activities in the other arm. That is double dipping. And yes, they are, for example, one of the first vouchers we saw was, uh, that I saw when I looked at the Treasurer's report, was uh, $50 for a filing cabinet. We have a supply line for filing cabinets, uh, you know, in, in their budget. 
Yeah, it's pulling out of the fund when there's plenty of money there. Why? I don't know. Do they care? Why should they care? When they have a balance at the end of the year, that money goes swept right into their conservation fund anyway. That's true. So they can decide whether we want to have visibility to their expense or not. Right. In the sense, well, we don't want people to see that we spent a filing cap this year, so we won't take it out of the budget. Well, we'll just take it out of the fund. And no one looks at that, so we don't worry. So what you're putting out as a possibility is already a reality. Okay? Amen. All right. But the truth is, we have to be a little bit fair here. Mm. Right. Now the, 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 the public mind is beginning to recognize that we have only one fund, it's probably called the Conservation Fund, and they can do anything they want relative to the conservation activities. That may be enough for this year. Okay? The public mind eventually is going to have to come to understand that they shouldn't be funding the same activity from two different sources. I agree. It's something they probably should brought up next year. That's a good discussion for the deliberative session. So, so yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I would support a motion, but I will not make a motion to cut this out. I will make the motion to cut it out. What are you cutting out? <laughs> you're going to cut out all of it or you're going to leave a dollar? Cut it out. I'm going to cut it out. Why don't you take half, Brian? I was going to take 2000 2000 That's like not worth line? the effort. Don't bother. Uh, supplies and expenses. Don't no, bother. It's not worth the effort. Not worth the effort. Either take it all or not. I want to make a motion. Yeah. Let's somebody say All right. Hey. Do I have a second for taking 2000 I'll second Jerry? Thank you. All right. Take a vote. Okay. All those in favor of reducing the supplies and expense line by $2,000. Tim? Brian? Eileen? But you didn't have any discussion. We, we've had enough discussion on the world. Mm. Um, well, I told right. you I'd support those opposed? And I did. All of those opposed? <laughs> and abstain. That is the guy that seconded it. Well, we need to have some discussions with Jay and Jay Okay. I move, I, I move the total $33,690. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Yeah, I'll go ahead. Opposed? Tim, Brian. I never vote for this. Anymore. Eileen. I know you don't. This is conservation, right? Yeah. Yep. I move total G Culture and Recreation $1,148,119. What give me that one more time? One million. One million one hundred and forty eight thousand one hundred and nineteen dollars. One one four eight one one nine. All right, a second? Oh, second. That number agree with you? Yes. Yeah. All those in favor? Opposed? Yeah. Because of those uh, line items that I wanted to go into a warrant article and because of the uh, okay. other things didn't happen. Four opposed. What's next? Okay. Um, debt service. Total principal two million two hundred thirty-seven thousand six hundred and seventeen. That would be the same in the default budget, Jim. I have a motion to accept that. Motion to accept two million two hundred thirty-seven thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars. Jerry, okay. Second. All those in favor? What? No discussion. You can't do it. No, no discussion. <laughs> unanimous. It's hard. It's a hard number. All right. I move interest line four seven two one seven hundred and forty eight thousand uh, dollars seven hundred forty eight thousand six hundred eighty one dollars. Uh, what are you moving? Seven forty eight six eighty one. Oh, that is okay. All right, and the second. Seven forty eight six eighty one. Oh, that is okay. All right, and the second on that. I'll second it. Jerry second. Yeah. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay. And total debt service, two million nine hundred ninety-six thousand two hundred and ninety-eight. Motion. Right, so move. The TV just went nuts. <laughs> Are we off? Yeah. Yeah, blew off. Okay. Um, You're backed up, Eileen. Eileen. Huh? You're backed up. Ten thousand right. for the TV. Yeah. We, we have ten thousand for TAM. That's just that's contingency. Oh, sorry about that. All right. All those in favor? Unanimous. All right. And let's see, we're off, so right now we've got to. Um, got to, it's got to quickly. Do we have a total right now? Yes. Oh. You mean the total total or the total debt? <laughs> total total debt. 
is two million nine nine six two ninety eight. Wait a minute. Correct. How much? That's what we just approved. We did. We did? No. Okay. To grand total. For the budget. Grand total for the budget. Twenty six eight oh one one oh five. Okay. Now a difference before, of eighty twenty six. Okay. Say again. Uh, twenty six eight oh one one oh five. A difference from the board of selectmen budget of eighty five thousand seven twenty two reduction. Yeah. We're not being on the air anymore, I guess. Yeah, you might as well pull the air off. Yeah, put that in the men's room or something. Twenty six eight oh one. <laughs> okay. Now, before everybody makes the mass exodus, all right, that is the number that we have come down to with our proposed budget. Right. And this is the part where we have our final review. May you guys never do it this way again. All right. For final review, there's only a couple of things that I have issues with. And one of the biggest things I have issues with is that additional 134,923 on the insurance. I would feel I would feel more comfortable passing the original request and reducing this total by that 134,923. Now while I say that, if that bill, the actual bill comes in or the actual numbers come in by deliberative, of course, that will get changed. And it'll get changed on both sides because it will be a real number. Right. So that's the extra 25%. That's the extra 25% because it's just not 25%. There's already 14% built into that. And then there's already um, a differential between that and the year before as we've carried forward. So I would rather, if this is our budget, with what we have to work with, have that out. out. I'll make that motion then. Do I have a second on that? I'll second it. I'll third it. I was always in favor of not having that 25% in there. We hear No, I was at a limited session. Let me just go back. I mean, I, everybody's doing what they do, but... You don't always underwrite it from do, the other time fund balance when the emergency arises. I agree. So just because there's a motion to reconsider something we've already voted on, yes? No. No, this is this no. is a review, Nick, which is different. Okay. All right. Typically for those who have not been here in other years, we would make the budget. All right, and then we would actually have a review after the fact. What we're doing tonight looks like both all at one time. But this is actually a final review after we've made the budget to go back and revisit anything because after we land this number tonight, that's it. Okay. All right, so. What page is that on in OBS? Uh, All right, that would be. It's got to be on OBS, yeah, sorry. It's at the end of uh, financial administration, uh, I think. Well, I know the general insurance is on page OBS 7. Uh, municipal insurance? What is it? Municipal insurance? Yeah. I think so. That's yeah. Um, yeah. OBS 7. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we took, yes. on that, we took the number of um, the 3,949,133, which is actually in the default yeah. number. And I'm saying that we dial it back by the hundred and uh, thirty-four nine twenty-three. Which represents the twenty-five percent? No. Can you confirm that, Christy? Yes. What what would represent the twenty-five percent? Um, is that a personnel administration? Yeah. No. Is it under municipal insurance? Municipal insurance. OBS seven. I'm trying to find that too. Yeah. OBS seven. The twenty-five percent was above. What we received for a quote. Right. That's why I say it doesn't represent the 25%. Yeah, that, that, that number represents the additional cost with the new so quote that we had plus 25% on top of it. So what was right. the number you arrived at? She's, she's working on that. I'm trying to find that for you. I'm hoping I have it. I'm, I'm looking at the number here at 430,550 and want to right. dial it back to 295,627. Right. Was that the Board of Selectmen amount? Yeah. That yeah, they, was, what they the did, Jim, just a review, what they did was they got 
a quote from one source rather than the two they had hoped to get. They got a quote, well, not a quote, actually, an estimate. And it was a 5% increase, but it wasn't a high, you know, it wasn't a firm quote. It was just an, an, a gut feel estimate. Remember, this doesn't expire until July 1. Right. So they were thinking about adding 50% on top of that, and then they decided on 25% add on top of that, just in case. Okay? Well, they, just in case the actual code comes in higher. They hadn't had a chance to put the, the insurance policy side by side mm -hmm. to see if there were any... Right. Uh, well, even if they did, if, even if they did, it was only an estimate, not a quote. quote. Mr. Jones, is that what you like, the amount of the quote that we received? It was $344,440 for the general liability. That's the line we're on, correct? That doesn't include workers' comp. They're separate lines. I was lines. looking for the... You 20, were given $344,000. 86110 86,110 was the 25% on Above the, the quote. On the general liability. Correct. And now we also have another one for workers', workers comp. comp. as a separate line. That's why I wanted to make sure you right. did Right. Okay. So we actually have two motions potentially okay. to deal with here. So now I'm being corrected. So it was not a, a differential of 134. It is a differential of 134 from what the, what the Board of Selectmen budget was. Tim asked the question in regards to the 25%. It wasn't, if you take... Um, they had a 5% yeah, yeah. increase That's on the estimate 30, number. 550. Is that the bottom line with the 25% in it? The, the 430, 550. Yes. So then we should take that number and multiply it times 0.75. That'll give you 75% of the quote, number. If you want. I'm oh. sorry? Or you the could quote take amount the, is $344,440. That's what Tim asked, so that's why I was coming up to share with you. That wasn't really a quote, though. That was an estimate, right? Or was that actually a quote? It was a quote, but they're trying to make sure Correct. that everything it's quote, is covered. We have, it's not a firm quote because we don't have, we don't know that we're going to accept that because we haven't compared the policy side but by this side. But this 430550 is $90,000 even above that quote. It's 25%. It should be you know, 430. We approved the number that had the 430550 as part of the liability and insurance. <coughs> that included the 25%. <laughs> yes. I'm not even getting into percentage because I'm not sure these percentages add up right, right. now, okay? Okay, all right. All right, because it's showing 65.28 in the column on the right-hand side if you were looking at your default budget and looking at that number. So you were looking at numbers all over the place, and what I'm trying to dial it back to was the original... Board of Selectmen recommendation of 295,627. Mm -hmm. Now I you're you. saying that we have an actual quote that goes to 344,440. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm willing to accept that, but that is a number that's basically $90,000 less than the 430,550 that we used and we passed through it's the other. It's $86,110 less because of the fact that we put the 25% in, which I did make I don't want to talk I about any. Okay. I don't want to talk about but anything else put in. I want to go on what we actually have to work on. Okay. And knowing full well that by deliberative session, somebody should have been able to sit down in the next two and a half weeks and put the, the things side by side and actually have a number and that all this could be for naught and we'll be adjusting it for a real bill. That would be very nice. But right now, I can't substantiate going to 430,550 with a quote of 344,440. Okay. And what's the difference on those two? 86,110. 86,110. 86, mm -hmm. so, okay, and what about so, the other one? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a motion on the table. Mr. Pierce, would you like to change your motion or withdraw it or what? But you Mike, gave a you different repeat? number. Well, the, the, the motion was to, to change uh, 5200. Okay, that's right, a motion to adjust it. Oh, the line the account, account number 4196. Yeah. To adjust it to 43550, basically, and adjust it downward by at least 25%. You want me to include the other one too? The one for the Why don't we just, don't just use the reduction? Could we ask you to use the numbers and reduce it to eighty six. Yeah, let me use the real by numbers. By $86,110. Let me rephrase the motion. I'll make the motion that we reduce the four thirty five fifty. Okay, that we moved it up to before, down to three forty four 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 zero. Right. Which is the same as the quote. Correct. What somebody said makes it an eighty six thousand one hundred and ten. Lower number. Right, and that was seconded. Now let's vote. Discussion? Yes, discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, 
we should change the default budget to the We cannot they touch can the default the budget. budget. Oddly, Oddly enough, budget. the budget committee doesn't no control of the default budget. But when we're looking at our revised budget, bottom line, mm -hmm. we're going to say, oh, look at ours is so much lower than the default. It's and, true. And, and it's, it's misinformation because it's apples and oranges. No, it's not a misinformation. No. It, it's it an happens. example of how the default budget, which is solely under the power of the Board of Selectmen, is sometimes inflated unnecessarily. Yes. Even though the law would specify otherwise. The, but there are those who would disagree with me. But the truth is, the default budget doesn't always stay in the same because it's, it's originated with the last pass budget, and things have changed since then. Right. All accounts have problems to some degree. So what is the number? Let's go with 344-440 on that line. Right. Just so you know. Right. Okay, so since that's a question and not Right, about since that's a real quote, yes. I'm more comfortable with putting that out. Yeah. All right? Yep. And again, I say, knowing full well that if a revised number comes in, we will be changing it as deliberative. And then, Scott, the number will change as well in the default budget. Exactly. It will change at that point once they get it. We I made such an adjustment at last year's letter, right. didn't we? Okay. All right. So, everybody. I the motion. Who seconded it? <laughs> Jerry did. Jerry okay. seconded it. All those in favor of that reduction of $86,110. All right. Let me write that down, Mike. Jim. 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 Brian, Eileen, Tim, yep. Mike, Jerry, Bob. <coughs> Mr. Bean is not Ms. voting. Mr. Bean left. And those voting no on that will be Nick, Scott. Mr. Bean left, okay. And that's it. That. Any abstentions? Yeah. Sonny, abstain. Yeah. Okay, now we've got a number for workman's comp to deal with it. You've got 25% plugged in. Do you want the actual quote? Would, yeah. would you give me that number, please, Christy? Do you have the actual quote? I have the actual quote. Okay. Okay. I did for that one. Thank so, you, Christy. It's 462263 I moved that number for workman's comp since it does reflect the quote that was received. Can, you Can I get a second, Mr. Pierce? 462263 Right. Yes. Okay. Second. Uh, I'll second it. Thank you. And it's the same argument, I guess, again, yep. knowing that it could be changed yep. should another bill come in. It's the same number as what was quoted, All period. Right. And vote. what is the differential in that? 15,566. Is that right? 115,566. 115, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I want, can, are we, can the point where we can discuss this? Yeah. I'm a little confused. Weapons come in 14 was 541. No, it's 577, 829. I'm looking at the actuals yeah. at 12, 30, 30, 31, 14 was 5, 41 uh, actuals, 319. Okay, on the actuals for 11, 30 was 5, 11, okay, uh, 15. So I think that reducing it Ooh. that much is the uh, uh, risk. Annualized out this year would be 557987. Well, that doesn't mean that the policies don't sometimes go down. If your work as comp record was good in the past year. The number I, on the motion is the number that we were quoted, right, Christy? Right. That's what we were quoted. And that's what we want to budget. Is that what we quoted? That's not, I don't see anything complicated about that. No, I don't either. I, I'm just pointing out that the lines, line those. But we did take it from, we did accept the 577-829, so that's what we have to subtract it from. Right. No, just, you don't have to just give, use that number that I just. No, just no we need to subtract it for the adjustment. No, the new number instead of 577, 829 is going to be 462263. Yes. What is it? Yeah. But what is the difference between those two? 515, 566. Thank you. 556? 556. 566. All those in favor? Well, which? Any more discussion? No. Okay. And you guys are moving a little faster for me. Who moved that, Mike? I did. Tim did? Jerry seconded. Jerry seconded? Did I make that? No. So. That was the last one. Okay. Remember, we're not on right now, so yeah. I need these. But, um, there you Jerry. Are. Oh, good. Um, 
All right. Same flavor as, as the, one, the one before it. All those in favor? All right. Again, Mike, Jim, Brian, Eileen, mm -hmm. Tim. Looks Mike, like the same vote. Jerry? Opposed? One wonders why. Okay, one Nick? Scott? And abstain. One wonders why. <laughs> okay, so Sunny and Bob, same as before. All right, do we have. Do we have I new um, total for municipal insurance? Yes, we do. Thank you. The total for municipal insurance is three million seven hundred and forty seven thousand four hundred and fifty seven. The health insurance. For no, the total line insurance. Line. Bottom line. Oh, All right, insurance. so then I've got it right. Three million seven hundred forty seven thousand four hundred and fifty seven. Yes, we yeah. have. Thank you. And do you have a new total do you have a new total total? Government? Do you want to want the other the, the new the general general government mm -hmm. yeah. is um, eight million nine hundred and sixty thousand one hundred and eighty eight. Okay. Nine eight million nine hundred sixty thousand one hundred and eighty eight. Yes. Just want to make sure I'm not being dyslexic. Bottom Thank line you for bearing with me. Got a bottom line there, Scott? That would be the grand total, so we're done with the final review. No, I just want to know what it is now. Uh, grand total is twenty six million five ninety nine four twenty nine. Twenty six. I agree with that. Twenty six. Okay. Excellent. I love agreements. This is great. This is, this yes. is like 26 is in my math by a hand, though. Oh, that, now that's more impressive. <laughs> okay. A total, a total reduction of 287398 Reduction from the previous amount that we stated. Right. 287398 Like a half hour ago. That's a total. Yeah, right. That's a total reduction, Timmy. Yeah. From Not just hour. from the last amount. From, All a, right. from right. a half hour ago. One more thing in the review, unless you guys have anything else. Okay. I don't have anything else. All right. I'm spent. Um, My some junkyard, are empty. Some junkyard as you know, you we've been going from default budget to default budget to default budget, and as was just pointed out in the conversation with Scott, some things in the default budget sometimes do get inflated. <clears throat> what I look at at the Both end ways. of every year is do we still have money left over? You know, we make these budgets every year. When we get to the end of the year, especially when we get to October and November, I sit there sometimes and I worry, did we, did we give enough? Are we going to run out? And for quite a history now, we have had a rather large surplus at the end of the year. This year we had all the snow and the impact of all that to the tune of 252000 that we had to absorb. At the end of the year, we put out what purchase orders, Christy. I still haven't seen them, but for four hundred and forty thousand. That was uh, the ones that the board had approved. Yes. Right. So we went That's and we were able to use four hundred and forty thousand of leftover money from twenty fifteen. And what was left beyond that? I don't know. Yet. We haven't finished December numbers yet. <laughs> we are still paying bills today. Well, you guys don't. Not everyone has all the December bills yet. I don't have a figure for that. Wait, wait. Hold on to tomorrow with that. Well, we can hold off till tomorrow because this is the end of the budget review. Is it safe to say that we're not broke? And I haven't read any December numbers, honestly. I spend the entire day today answering email questions. Well, I realize that, but we were kept to the last minute for number. information that we needed. And the problem that I have with it is how did you, how did you spend 440000 without having some idea? We didn't spend it. There are conferences that have not been approved by the board yet. We're going to the board on January 25th for their final approval, so they can still be deleted. They're only in conferences. There must be POs written to, to make them encumbrances. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, they're liens against them. So we have 440000 written in POs? From the, that motion, All right. the board that Even, I shared with you. From there, the board there, I've heard figures of around $800,000 of surplus this year. 
seven fifty. In November, I think it was in the sevens. On the in the sevens, yeah. and that was even after paying the three fifty two. For snow emergency. For snow emergency. Oh, yeah, that was okay, that so more. basically we paid the snow emergency of three fifty two. We ended up somewhere in the, in the seven hundred thousand dollar range. To me, that says we had a surplus of almost a million dollars this year. Well, not a surplus, but maybe... Uh, it was tight management, and we ended up, but we ended up with almost a million dollars at the end of the year. So that says to me, and we're using, we're having a default budget year after year after year, which means we're building off the same budget. Wow. Last year we had a surplus. The year before that we had a surplus. So here's my question to you. We have reviewed all the big things that stuck out to us along the way. We did not spend any time on lines that we know were underspent or will be underspent. Supply items, utility bills, there was, Wages. Some, there was something built into yeah. that. There was something built into everything, but we weren't going to sit here and nickel and dime 50 here, 100 there, but there are 400 items, 400 lines in the budget, and then some. I am throwing out for consideration a reduction of one quarter of one percent to how much is not that? every department, but the larger ones. How many, how many dollars is that? Well, what do you mean the large ones? Uh, mm -hmm. what, what would be the large ones? Police, fire, public works. Police, fire. Well, looking at total general government. Okay, that's about with nine million. With a total million. of nine million. Yeah. Okay, that's only dialing it back twenty-two thousand nine hundred and four dollars. Police with a budget of three million nine hundred eighty thousand four hundred thirty-eight at point two five percent. You're dialing it back nine thousand nine hundred and fifty-one. And fire department with a budget of three million three hundred ninety-eight thousand eight forty-one. You'd be dialing it back eight thousand four hundred ninety-seven. And we didn't take anything out of DPW. I don't think it would hurt to take one quarter of 1% across the board out of DPW. All right. All right. That totals up to what? Yeah. I haven't done the number on DPW, so I can't give you the... They're about $5 million, I think. Huh? They're about $5 million. Yeah. And 10% uh, would be 500000 Scott, are you getting that number for us? No, I hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't, so before I hadn't we before yet. we go up through all the math, no. it's fairer than sitting there and nickel and diming every line. And how, just, much, how much is the ballpark? Right? <coughs> um, two, but it's it's, it's got to be somewhere between fifty and sixty thousand. About sixty sixty thousand dollars in there. I think she styled it back. That's in DPW. In a very, no. Sixty thousand in DPW. No, not sixty thousand in DPW. No. I'm it's saying old. we're somewhere sixty, a little over sixty. Yeah. Um, you're, total, you're less total. than a hundred, Mike, but you're more than thirty or forty. I think when so. you end up with a million dollars over, and if if this was done every year when you have these big surpluses, so it's sixty thousand on the bottom line. Huh? Yeah. Sixty thousand on down the bottom line. Down another sixty over the, over the big four. Do the point two five on the <coughs> budget that we have right now. No, the budget is for ge for general government is nine million. Police and fire is about three to four million. Okay, you're just gonna take the big one? And the and the DPW. You're not gonna do health and human services. No. No, no. Like I said, this this was a little bit on the surgical side. Okay. We didn't take in all of general government in the nine million dollars, right. I'm sure a belt could be tightened to the tune of twenty three thousand. Okay, so you're gonna spread it evenly across those. Spread it they, they can they can those decide. Those four. We're going to take it off that department, that off general government. They can decide where it's going to go. Okay. All right. Um, I think the same thing with police. And I say this from the standpoint, I think if we were to look at every little detail, we mm -hmm. would find some duplication and things they were allowed to buy at the end of the year right. and things they put in their, into their budget based on the fact that the Warren article may have failed. I think, but we don't have the time to do that, right. okay? And I'm just trying to keep our budget from constantly escalating on the default side because what we do on one side goes to the default side sooner or later. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be really close to almost down to the penny being equal to the default. 
almost a penny. Mm. I'm not, one thing I'm happy of is aside from Tim, who liked to do a commercial tonight, I think this is one budget where we didn't talk about the default. He really no, I, took everything from the ground up. Right. This was a zero one base zero budget. Base budget. Are you, did you say one quarter or a quarter? No, no, no. She said a quarter. One, one quarter of one percent. If I take if I take that uh, point two five percent and I apply it to general government at eight point nine million, mm -hmm. um, public safety at eight point one million, highways and streets at two point two million, mm -hmm. sanitation at three point oh million. Mm -hmm. No, what I no, I did it on the total. All right. The total of the, the total budget. general government was nine million one hundred sixty-one thousand seven hundred ninety-five. I got a figure of twenty-two thousand nine hundred and four. Yeah, we do a, well. No. Eight, eight million nine sixty-one eighty-eight was is the, is the uh, yeah nine million. Roughly the general government. General government. Yeah, the, the numbers that I just read to you. I'm just taking the totals of each of those major departments. No. Well, yeah, because I don't have everybody in there. It isn't everybody. There are some departments that there was nothing. To, there's nothing to take. They came right. into like recreation. Leave. I wouldn't take anything from recreation. She's about as lean as she's going to be. I, mean, I can help you here. So it would be the total for it, it, the total for police was three million nine eighty four thirty eight right. times point two five percent. That gave me nine million nine. I'm sorry, nine thousand nine hundred and fifty one dollars. Is that what you're getting, Scott? I, I was just trying to give you a ballpark number, but I so I didn't. I no, I was. I'm, I'm trying to do exact so we can get out of here tonight. Okay. All right. <laughs> then <laughs> let's start at the top, man. All right. Top, government. Top government. Government. Well, and wait a minute. You know what? We've got to change that, don't we? Just so you're presenting a motion right now, correct, Madam Chair? Yes. Yeah. Oh. No, what? You, we've got to change that because we just changed the insurance. The general government. We did. All right, so general government, if you could give me one quarter of 1% 1 of 8,960,188. Is that what you said? Okay, I'm sorry. What What is the number that, uh, what, what department are you working with? General government. General government. Yeah. Nine zero four nine six thirty six. No, no, no. Okay. It's eight nine six zero one eight eight. Okay. Yes. Twenty two thousand four hundred. Got twenty two thousand four hundred. Okay. okay. We're on a roll. Give me another one. All right. Total police three million nine hundred eighty thousand four hundred and thirty eight. Yep. That is nine thousand nine fifty one. All right, that's what I have. Fire is three million three ninety eight. Eighty four ninety seven. That's what I've got. All right. Yes, eight four ninety. And then you got DPW. Now we have DPW. You got. You got. You got to go for the total DPW. Is that going to be the two million? Uh, five million one ninety one. You got to do the total. Space paving, street lighting. It would be five million one ninety one one forty seven. Okay, so uh, and it's five thousand four ten for the highways and municipal sanitation seven five sixty eight. So the total of those two your number. It's twelve thousand nine seventy eight. Can't be that. Mm -mm. No. I don't believe so. Uh, eight thousand eight million one was twenty two thousand off the of general government. Right. And this is five million mm -hmm. one ninety one. One forty seven and that was what, twelve thousand? Twelve thousand nine seventy eight. Okay. Oh, okay, twelve thousand nine seventy eight. And what do we have then for total? We had Twenty-two thousand four hundred. Yeah. And then nine nine thousand nine hundred fifty-one. Yes. Eight thousand four hundred ninety-seven. Yes. Twelve thousand nine hundred and seventy-eight. Yes. And what's that total? Fifty-three thousand eight twenty-seven. Okay. 
have a motion from someone to reduce? I'll make, I'll make the motion. Jerry, second. I'll second. Discussion? No. No. Oh, I'm certainly <laughs> not going to I would, for consideration, uh, this board was criticized last year for cutting $700,000, roughly the 11th hour. Our, our budget proposed came in at 287398 under what the Board of Selectmen proposed. With these additional cuts, you're just under 350000 which is half of what we cut last year at the 11th hour, just for what the newspapers are going to talk about. So we should be criticized half as much as we have. No, I'm just saying the additional cuts added up to about. No. Next There's a week. difference. No, there okay. is a difference. Because last year, the final day of review, the number came out. Mm -hmm. We've been working on this number uh, for several three, three or four days. Mm -hmm. As we were going through, I was making recommendations every step of the way, and what people were saying yes and no, and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. And then today, of course, the 25 percent was was pulled back from mm -hmm. to, from the from the two insurances because the, the chairman felt that that was she wanted to go forward with the quote, not the quote plus 25 percent. And now she's she's talking about dialing back a quarter of one percent, which I think is very conservative. I would dial back more. There was over seven hundred thousand dollars worth of wage underruns. And there was and close to six months of department heads told not to pursue any well, other uh, training. That's what we hear. Training All right, or, next year we're gonna spend every penny or expenditures or anything else like that. I I know. I don't six care. months of that, half a year. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna just answer your concern, Nick. Mm -hmm. And this was one year. This was a zero-based budget. We brought this budget up from scratch. The biggest consideration here and the one big thing that we did tonight with the numbers is we have only gone with the insurance estimate, knowing full well that if that estimate comes in different before deliberative session, that will be changed. And that is a huge part of this number. Mm -hmm. I don't think, being responsive to the taxpayers, that we can continue to end up with surpluses in the hundreds of thousands and not find some method and some way to say, well, we got to dial it back a little bit. And quite honestly, 53000 on a 20, almost a $27 million budget is just saying, we hear you, we'll try and go from there. Um, but it, the biggest piece of this are the insurances, and rather than put our names to an estimate when we have a quote, right now I would rather go with the quote and amend the quote as that comes in. All right, that's mm -hmm. my rationale. Uh, Scott, and then Sonny. So, so much of the savings, um, you know, to, to the budget, you know, is un, unforeseen vacancies. Uh, mm -hmm. and that was pointed out, I think, in the response that to, to those wages that you questioned. Um, and and you, you, you put a budget together based on full staffing. You know you're not going to have it, mm -hmm. but you, you, you want to give the department heads a tool to which, and yourselves a tool, to which to measure their performance. And if you're, you know, where is this, what line item do you, do you take that money out of? We've gone through each line item and it kind of passed the, the sniff test, if you we, would. We had a lot of them that were underspent. And yep. across these multi-million dollar budgets, when you're talking about 20000 it's it, even if it's just the think twice before you spend it yep. kind of thing, turn off the lights, you, you can add up $20,000 real easy. Do you really need those extra supplies? It's the only way you, you bring it backwards a little bit. Otherwise, you just keep putting it in. We had person, there wasn't a department that didn't come in that didn't give us at least one, one line item that they sat there and they said, well, we didn't really need it. We didn't really spend it. I shouldn't say we need it. We didn't spend it, but we don't know if we're going to need it next year. And it's like... Well, if you have a historical that you haven't used it and we're funding you with too much and you don't, just don't know, we, we can't throw it out for all these different line items in every department that's happening that way. So it really is one quarter of 1%. And it wasn't with everybody, 
it was just with the, the biggies. Big, the biggies. And within the biggies, there is probably one thing in each one of the big ones, salt. Are we going to do salt? We've had, we've got $13,000 in DPW for sand. And quite honestly, we've had a, a hand, handfuls of years that we have spent no money on sand. Jerry was kind of being funny by saying, I don't know where the sand comes from, maybe the beach, I don't know. But we have had years, lots of years, with nothing being spent on sand. Yet we have $13,000 in the budget. They underrun, they underrun salt. They underran salt yeah. from what I could see this year. And we had the worst 15 ever, right? That $12,000 might come out of one of those two things, right off there. So it's... Um, it's an attempt to dial to dial it back, having you know, I, the I, I, surplus that we had. Look, if we were sitting here, ending up with you know maybe a hundred thousand dollars left, I wouldn't be asking for anything. And we've had years like that. All right, not many. We're, like, we're we're in the cycle where the budget comes into us. We reduce it. Somebody at the deliberative session restores it, and then it's voted down by the public, and we're right back to where we were with a default budget with the lines all misaligned, many of them misaligned, some lines have more money in them than they need, right. so other lines a, under. That's, it's a virtual, we gotta break this, we gotta break this poverty cycle. It's a, vir, it's a virtual certainty, the lower you make this budget. This discussion Sunny? should be- May I finish, please? Well, he had his hand up for yeah, you, did. I thought you called for me. No, TV. he had his hand I mean, you know, to have it without the public being aware of it. They're recording it, aren't they? They're not recording it, but Tim's recording oh, Kim, it. Oh, Tim's got it. And I'll be talking about this again. So, Tim. Thank you. Know. Jerry's more or less touched upon it. The more we decrease this budget, the greater the likelihood. And I'm directing myself to you primarily, Scott. The greater the, yeah, I know. That's why I want you to shut him up. The greater the likelihood. The more we reduce this budget, the greater the likelihood the deliver session is going to be stacked with people to increase the budget again. Right. As far as I'm concerned, you know, we've we spent whatever amount of time was spent on fifty three thousand, is that right? Mm -hmm. Fifty three thousand bucks. But to quote you to cite your constant night statements, it's nothing in a twenty six million dollar budget. Yeah. So we're spending all this time I go over fifty three thousand bucks. Give me a break. You know, I mean, give me a game break. It's probably going. You can't find fifty-three thousand dollars in a twenty-six million dollar budget. We've done our due diligence, especially on the budget that you 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 had underspent the prior year seven hundred plus thousand dollars, and you can't find fifty-three thousand. I mean, to me, I don't give a damn which way this vote goes, okay, but. I don't see how you can argue you can't find 53,000 bucks. Sure they could, All right. but I think it's more important to be aligned. Aligned with what? Nickel and dime. Arbitrary. Aligned with what? With, with more select business time management. Ah, we've oh. got to be aligned with the powers to be. Actually, we're supposed to be aligned. You know, we are, we are the budget committee. We're the only committee of the town meeting. There is no other. We are the only committee of town meeting. We're supposed to be aligned with them. I'll second. But let's just vote. All right. All, the, all those in favor of reducing to fifty three reducing uh fifty three thousand eight hundred and twenty seven dollars. Why not? Why not? I got Phil's proxies on voting for him. <laughs> All right. So those in favor? Right. Tim, Jerry, Mike, Eileen, the motion fails. Okay. That's the way it is. Can we now move Did to Did anybody adjourn? abstain on that vote? No. No. All the others would know? That was the total. Can we now move to adjourn? Yeah. Motion Thank you. Adjourn. 23 40 seconds. 20 to 12. I think the food will shut off about 9 o'clock.